The fucking big so man cute? thing, eh? Big man things, yeah? Oh my god, that's so cute! I'm not gonna lie, I got really excited because um, I was talking to Nick right now. I thought that was Mexican Appa. What's the Mexican Appa? Like Appa Yip Yip Avatar? Uh huh. I I have a Mexican version. No, like I literally thought it was. I looked at it and I was like, Appa, why is he brown? <laughs> why? That's fucked up, bro. How's it fucked up? He looks like Mexican Appa. He didn't have an arrow like Yang, though. Yang, Yang. <laughs> <laughs> that's racist. Have you guys ever that. eaten Asta? Yo, well, where'd that no. just come out? No, because I just saw the- Why are you always talking about sex, though? Oh my god. You know what? I'm not gonna lie, Maru, that's- That's a fucking fact, though. Who's in the high chair? <laughs> I couldn't- I just put it away, because I- Dude, I, why I, do you look shorter than me right now? You're in a higher chair than me, buddy. No, on God, though, who here uh, eats ass? No, seriously, I wanna know. I have. Oh, shit. <laughs> what is up? What's your deal, man? I heard- I heard it's- I heard it's cool. I've heard good things, I've heard good yet things, haven't tried it. But I don't think I want to try right now. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, don't knock it till you try it. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. But like, yeah. I'm, I'm Christine, you 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 eat ass? Hey, your mask is sideways. Yeah, I have. I have, yeah. What do you mean it's sideways? It's a little crooked. Yeah. You, crooked which way? Take your phone out and look at your... Go, go, oh, you can't even go, see yourself in it. No, I can't see shit. Which way is it sideways? Like, take... Put your hand, your right hand higher, and then your left hand lower. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, that actually fixed it. There you go. There you go. There you go. Leave oh, it. Leave, 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 leave it. Leave leave it. Leave it. Leave yeah. Okay. Oh my God, it's pulling on my bag. Mari, have you ever eaten ass? No. Nice. Nice. We're sage. I haven't ate every guy's ass that's asked me to. <laughs> I don't know why guys don't talk about this more often. More guys than you think like butt stuff. I believe that. I, I believe think, that too. I think you definitely shouldn't knock it till you try it. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't think. Hey, I'm not saying like start with like a giant, like. <laughs> oh, okay. So can we step the gym cocaine now or like? I'm saying like start with like Put a finger or butt? something. My butt or her butt? Your butt. Nah, fam. Men Put something a... in. <laughs> <laughs> Things are only supposed to come out of there. That's some suspect guys right there. A finger. That's gnarly. That shit does not feel good. Men have, <laughs> men have a prostate. What's going on? No, I know that, but I'm not, that's not until I'm like 40. Wait, I, don't th I think I'll, I'll skip I'm out on the finger in the ass. I'm not saying start now, oh, okay, but okay, like, okay, I'm okay, saying okay. like, are you even open to the idea of it? A oh, finger, oh, no, absolutely not. Yeah, I don't, I don't want a finger okay, in my booty. My here, <laughs> I don't want anything around no, my butt. I feel like that's just like taking away like my masculinity. <laughs> <laughs> like maybe, I'll, I'll probably let a girl eat my ass, but not like, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Oh my God, I can tell you try it. But like, I don't know. But like, I'm not gonna, it, it just sounds, it sounds weird. It sounds weird. I'm not gonna lie. It does sound weird. It sounds That's weird. What I'm saying. But like, <laughs> guys, about it though, we're like, dressed up as kids, <laughs> fucking Power Rangers, <laughs> and we're talking yeah, about this shit. shit. No, I mean, keep going. There's don't let me interrupt. Ones, but like, think about it though, because like, the gooch feels really good. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. It does feel good. Okay, you. you but you've never been like, go what, a little lower. <laughs> no, I never. <laughs> yeah, see, that's weird. Nah. Huh? Earlier, like when you said, I don't want to finger up my butt, it makes me, it, it's like less masculine. Not what? really. It just makes me feel like weird. Like, okay. That would definitely yeah, make like, me feel weird. Things just don't belong in it. it. <laughs> you know? it's, not, it's not in my comfort zone. No, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah that's, that. that's, that's I don't a better think, I don't think I'm so sorry. I don't know. <laughs> I don't think that that's something that's everybody's comfort zone, but no. I think that one, that you shouldn't shame somebody for what oh, they yes. want. No, for and sure two, it's like, I think you should always be open to that idea. Like men have a prostate. You literally have physically something in your butt that feels different from a woman. I, I just don't want to feel that. And like your prostate, <laughs> listen, your prostate is, I'm giving you a science lesson, okay? I, I this is- You studied this. No, I, I listened to this like off of a <laughs> um, podcast that I really like, it's called yeah. Ologies. And they had somebody that specializes in like prostates see i wonder i wonder like what made them like take that route like that career like well, i want to study prostate prostates. cancer is like a like, huge a thing, thing yeah. in in men so anyways the doctor was like your prostate that is inside your butt is connected to your gooch so like if someone pushes on the gooch i don't know if you guys would know but like if you push on that part or like is this getting too it's no no no, 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 no. Keep, yeah, going, keep going keep going keep going it's funny i'm sorry it's the faces they're making is making me laugh. I didn't know that they but were connected. But this is really interesting. Like, I'm actually like... Yeah, <laughs> so, like, um, I guess, girls, you could try licking it. Um, licking the guy's, like, gooch. Like, it's under the ball sack. So, like, where the ball sack ends, like, that little... <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, just keep going. Keep that going. little, don't, like, don't mind the area of skin that's in between. Like, girls have gooches, too. Yeah. It's yeah, just, yeah, like, yeah. way smaller. But 
Um, yeah, a lot of guys like that. Never thought about that, that area. Actually. Like if when you're you know going down on him, like if you go down a little bit further, go slowly because you might freak him out. Because I would get I, freaked out if someone yeah. beelined it straight down there. I'd be like, yo, pause. do not beeline. Like start slow no, yeah, and sure. like make sure that he's comfortable with like what you're doing. Yeah. Um, I, we talked about this like once before. Like I wouldn't ask for it, but like if things transpired lower, I would be like. Okay, fine. Let's see where it goes. But like, yo, but like, but like, but like, but I would, ne I don't know. I feel like, cause. Hey, don't be ashamed about it. No, no, no. You shouldn't yeah. be. You shouldn't yeah, be. Definitely but not. Yeah, it's yeah, just, yeah, it's yeah, just funny. Cause like, like, I don't know. It just, it just sounds a little funny to I'm me. Not, I'm not like, appealed to nah. my butt like yeah. that. <laughs> <laughs> I just have a weird thing with my, like, yeah, like, yeah, it's but things I'm just like, butt, like, I don't even like butt, to let the girl see my so butt. So like, think about it like that. Like that's, that's a big thing to me. What? I don't like to let the girl see my butt. Is everyone ready to start? Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm ready. Devin's still so uncomfortable. Oh, should we put these no. on? Hey, should we put these on to start? Or oh, dude, I really no. don't want to get allergies okay, right now. Fine, yeah. Fine. Wait, where's yours at? It's oh, fine. you tucked it in. Yeah, tucked it oh, inside. wait, that's so smart. Well, let's all do it. My color's like a <laughs> ball sack, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Little weasel on you. Little weasel. <laughs> Little weasel. Yeah, it looks like I'm tucking in like my uh, yeah, extra I'm foreskin. Saying. Yeah, it kind of like it kind of chokes me when I tuck it in, so I'm not gonna do it. I feel badass in this suit. I'm not gonna lie. Right, right. I, um. I could probably like, let's go fight crime tonight. I was gonna say like hit a lick, but that's. Are different. we going somewhere after this? We're gonna fight crime. Anyways, um, let's go ahead and get into the podcast. Yes, everyone ready? Yeah. Okay, and we're live in three, two, one. What what do they say in Power Rangers? Is it go go Power Rangers? Go go Power Rangers. Should I, should I lead into that right now? Like after I say and we're live three two one, should I be like go go Power Rangers or not? Nah? If you could hit it, I can't hit it. What if we just do Call Me Maybe by Carly Rae Jemsen instead? Okay, I'm gonna say it and then you start it. Carly Rae Jemsen? Yeah, or, okay. Carly Rae Jemsen. And we're live in three, two, one. I threw a wish in the well. Don't ask me, I'll, I'll never tell. tell. I looked at you as it fell, but now you're in my way. Trading my soul for a kiss. <laughs> Pennies and dimes for a wish. I wasn't looking for this, but now you're in my way. Your stand was holding. Ripped jeans, skin was showing. Hot night, wind was going. Where you think you're going, baby? I always thought I said nipples in that part. Huh? Hard rock nipples showing. <laughs> you fucking joking. No, I swear. Wait, which part did you he think? He said hard, hard rock, rock nipples showing. That's hard <laughs> rock nipples showing. Genius. <laughs> Where you think you're going, baby? <laughs> yeah. Hey, I just know what he's saying. Bro, that had to have been traumatizing. That song came out when we were like eight. I mean, I didn't really think too much of it, but. <laughs> <laughs> Hard For some you're like, this goes <laughs> weird. <laughs> That's a little strange. Anyways, guys. Um, well, hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another segment of Summer Talks. I'm your host, Nick Grajeta. Joining us tonight, we have the Green Power Ranger. You gotta, you gotta do like, Ka -ka. You gotta do like that. Ka -ka. We have the Blue Power Ranger. Ah! <laughs> we have the Pink Power Ranger. You gotta go like, Rawr. I'm not doing that. <laughs> You gotta make an animal sound. You gotta make it a tiger. What's a um, tiger? Roar. Okay. And we have the Black Power Ranger. Bar bark. Bark. <laughs> <laughs> I had to say the whole song. Bark. I fucked up. I fucked up. <laughs> Anyways, guys. Um, My name is Tiki. <laughs> the last podcast. That's what I was gonna do. Why'd you jump boom, on that? Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> we should remake that to talk to these. Cha cha cha. <laughs> Listen, listen, guys. Okay, um, so boom, last boom, uh, podcast. Boom, boom. <laughs> <laughs> last I podcast, myself. We were talking about uh, celebrating a million, all that, and how we were gonna open up smelling salts. Oh God! And sniff them on camera and see like if we'd be able to handle it without making a face. So uh, that's what we're gonna do right now. I got smelling salts. We should go in the order of the how we talk. You want me to go we, first? Yeah, yeah. Oh Jesus. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So what if you have an allergic reaction? Mado, I. It's just salt. Hold it for him and then like no, but let it's him like chemical salt. Uh, I've seen the office. I know how to do CPR. Um, so no, we're using uh, 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 ammonia sport raw. Which is well, not I'm FDA glad. approved. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> ammonia, <laughs> ammonia inhalants, also known as smelling salts, are chemical compounds used for arousing consciousness. Oh. Ammonia inhalants have been used by a wide variety of professionals and collegiate level athletes for years. The ammonia inhalant is designed to boost performance in sports. How it works? The combination of chemicals makes and releases small amounts of ammonia gas. The ammonia irritates the blood vessels 
in the nasal passage, providing an instantaneous boost of strength, energy, and focus. That sounds kind of scary. I'm not going to lie. Ammonia inhalants are legal and safe. Legal? How come it's not approved by the FDA? Where does it say it's not approved by the FDA? Read the bottom. The bottom. Oh, disclaimer. This drug has not been found by FDA to be safe and effective. How are they selling it? And this labeling has not been approved by FDA. This product is not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any disease. Caution. The use of ammonia sports to revive people injured during sports is not recommended. It may inhibit or delay a proper and thorough neurological assessment by a healthcare professional such as after concussions. Damn. Well, let's try it. Directions. Fuck it, though. <laughs> add amount. Oh, I have to put it in water? No, let's just smell that shit. Wait. Add 15 milliliters, one tablespoon amount of water to inhale an activation. Oh, yeah, you might have to. Yeah, you do probably have to nah, do that. Nah, fuck it. Straight out the bottle. It says I have to. Otherwise, it doesn't work. Yeah. So you have to activate it? Yeah, you got to activate it. Put some water in that, John. Wait, what's <laughs> what's one tablespoon like? Put your wiener in it. It's like one it's spoon. It's literally a tablespoon. Don't be shy. I don't know. Can I just pour it in like a... Just no, put, no, no, just no. Just get a tablespoon. Just pull Fill out a spoon. Like a big spoon? Yeah. I'm a little scared, guys. Uh, secure lid and shake well. Always keep the secure... Okay. Oh my god. The oh, fuck? I thought you were so bro. I thought you were so up. Guys, oh I'm, I'm a little scared right now. Bless you. I'm really scared. Should I do it? Yeah. I'll go after you. I probably would. I'm scared shitless right now. My heart is racing. Yeah. You know what? You're a smart person for not doing this. Yeah, and, I'm not. and you cannot peer pressure me into it. Oh! <laughs> oh. Okay, we're starting. Oh! I have a tingly feeling. Oh no. Oh! Wait. I don't think I got. Oh shit! Oh no! Oh, you've never have you ever Yo. been domed? No! Oh, maybe it's probably. Dude, feels like wait, that. that feels fucking good. Oh god! Oh, Yo, god. wait, dude, my hands are like. We what? gotta bring these in the hard summer. Wait, wait, try that. Try that. Mato, you wanna go? I'll go after Devin. Dude, my heart is fucking racing right now. Like I feel I'm like scared. Wait, dude, I we gotta, gotta take that to the I gym. I kind of gotta poop right now. Just no, no, it like, won't make okay, you poop. Okay. They do these before like they do <laughs> PRs. Dude, no, that's fucking wild. Okay, I'm going. No, it's not bad. It's not bad. I swear. Wait, maybe get anxiety. Oh, you gotta shit. Get, you gotta get <laughs> <laughs> He's crying. Yeah. Wait Does for it make you tear up? No, but your hands, you feel in your hands, you feel tingly? I feel like the man. <laughs> Damn, Holy is, yeah, shit, what? I know what you're saying. I think it is a high. I'm locked in right now. <laughs> Devin looks like he's tweaking. Is it? Is it a dome? It's is like it a dome. Me? It's not like... I kind of want to do it again. Can yeah, I want to do it again too. Wait, wait, wait. Let me try it. Let me try it. Let me try it. I want to try it again. Chill out, fiend. <laughs> <laughs> Dev, what if we get hooked on this shit? No, I think I am. Wait, no, that's actually wild, bro. Like, my hands feel all weird. Yeah, it wasn't that bad. I'm already getting scared. My hands feel weird already. What does it feel like? If, like, my hands are just like, my hands feel like they got fat. Oh, shit. I don't know. <laughs> Wait, let me try it again. Let me try it again. Let me try it again. That's wild. <laughs> let me try it again. Let me try it again. What does it Woo! feel like? Oh, it's intense. What does it feel like? Um... I'm like a lot of energy in my body right now. Oh, I got too much. <laughs> <laughs> I got too much. Is it like Molly or what? Oh, dude, yeah, my head's feeling it for sure. <laughs> Wait, what? My head's feeling it for sure. Your head? Yeah. Dude, <laughs> dude, feel my heart right now. Hey, well, feel my heart right now. Oh, dude, am I gonna have a fucking heart attack right now? Wait, I'm scared. You, no, no, no. Try it. Try it. Try I have try a it. heart murmur. <laughs> it's okay. I have a heart murmur. Do you want to try it? It's not. I swear to God, it's not as bad as you think. How, how just, hard? Like, just like, just like, just like. Don't sniff it hard. Just like, come on. You're letting a lot of toxins out, so oh, you gotta oh, sniff oh. it. Okay, ready? That's. That's that John up here. Why is that shit so strong? Hey, but do you feel like kind of like? What does it smell like? Hey, take a big whiff. I no, think, fuck no. That shit would probably kill you. How I think you I need a bigger whiff. Yeah. But you go first. Don't be. No, oh, don't be fucking no, throwing no, it like no. that. Guys, are we that fiends? Shit, that shit feels that crazy. That scared me, Loki. Yeah, I really have to poop now because I'm getting nervous. <laughs> Dude, what the fuck is wrong with you? I, I get it. The you might want to shake it before. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> she says, oh, God. <laughs> that was strong. Shake it. Shake it. Shake that cannot be good for you. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yo, me and Devin, I, I might need another bump, bro. I'm not going to lie. I might need one more. I might need one more. Like, I want to get really close to you for some reason. I, I can't, bro. Dude, I'm oh, dude, on my chest. feels like crazy right, right now. This, this is how fast my heart is. How come this shit's not hitting me? I've been doing too many drugs. <laughs> hey, do you feel it in your forearms? Yeah. I feel it in my hands. My I hands feel are like tingly. crazy pump right now. Woo! I don't feel it. Guys, we are not sponsored, though, by this at all. Sage, it's not bad. I swear to God. Did you smell it? I'm trying not to. <laughs> <laughs> right? It smells like dirty socks. Whoa. Not my really. favorite kind of socks. 
oh why'd you get up in the <laughs> holy shit Sage. how close did you get it's like eating man's face <laughs> <laughs> wrong salt wrong Dude, salt let's go. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> we got the wrong salt why'd you say bath oh, on the front holy shit nah we actually gotta go fight crime now christian you wanna try it <laughs> I'll do it. I'll do After it again. You want to do it again? One more. Okay. I want to get close. Guys, this can't be fucking healthy. Okay, okay. I don't feel anything. It's you want to try it again? No. My hands, they don't feel like weird, but they just feel like cold. Nah, I'm taking this shit to the gym. Yeah, people wow. use it in the gym. Huh? Yeah, that's people what, that's what you use it for. Dude, yeah. my hands feel tingly. Oh, keep it six inches from your nose. Oh. Try it. Six inches from your nose. That's like where the mic is right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. What if I put my water in it? Does that mean it's only used like I can only use it once? <laughs> no, it says keep a tight. It's like <laughs> keep a tight lid on it, right? If you're not using that one, it. got me a lot. How close did you get? Did you get a big oh, good whiff? Fuck, I taste that one. Oh shit! Oh. <laughs> it's like oh shit. Let's just you know what? Let's just let's just stop fucking with it before we develop another drug disease. Yeah. Another another before we start getting co- dependent on drugs. Should I try one more time? Oh my god, dude, you're crazy. Jesus. Yeah, should I stop? Yeah. <laughs> What's going on right now? Wow. <laughs> My head is down, going crazy right now. It's wild. <laughs> they doesn't say anything. It doesn't say anything about like how many times you can do it. Yeah, let's just do it again. <laughs> <laughs> just one more. Just one more. Just it's one my more. last one. All I need. Oh, should I do it one more time? That's, that's good. It's intense. Yeah. It's not as like... You gotta, you gotta, you gotta really get in there. <laughs> It's just like an odd feeling. I don't know. It doesn't really get me like hype though. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't get me I'm hype. I'm done. <clears throat> Does it get you hype? It doesn't get me I hype. I feel like if you gotta be in the right setting though. Uh-huh. Like if you're pumping weights, I'll be like, let's go. You know what I mean? Okay. I'm like what? I'm like locked in now for sure. <laughs> oh, dude, fuck caffeine, bro. I'm gonna start taking that shit. <laughs> Woo. He's like, <laughs> Woo. Oh, I feel good. <laughs> no, I feel good. Dude, my knee doesn't hurt anymore. So, I'm, sure. I'm just kidding. Um. Anyways, guys, <laughs> it's good dad. for you. It's good for you. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was actually gonna be a lot more intense. Maybe, maybe I'll get a different one if they got stronger ones. I know there's definitely. They've got ones the ones that. that snap. The ones that snap are fucking crazy. Yeah. Though. We should do those next week. <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm down. Oh, okay. Anyways, or so ghost guys, chili. Huh? Ghost chili next week. I'm not eating ghost chili. We wouldn't be able to Come perform on. a podcast. Come on. We'd be tripping. I nah. would never do that. That shit was so bad. Really? Anyways, though, yeah, guys. Not even for um, 500. Tonight, though, uh, Christine's actually going to be asking the questions. Oh, shit. Yeah. Why is she in the host seat? Wait a minute. I don't want to sit over there. Oh, okay. Oh, you want to be on the cool side of the yeah. table? Well, yeah. Well, it's just. Yeah. Yeah. Freak yeah. <laughs> yeah, freak yeah. Let's go. Wait, who said you guys were the cool side? Madi's over here. Oh, Madi's over here. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> I'm playing, but yeah, guys. Uh, Christine posted um, a bunch of a little bit. Um, Christine posted a bunch of uh, or posted a story, an Instagram story, asking for questions from y'all. So she yeah. wrote down the best ones, and she's gonna be asking us. Okay, we're gonna start pretty easy. What's everyone's favorite song at the moment? Stick by JID. You fuck. <laughs> you fuck. Stick, 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 stick. I got a new stick, stick. Yeah, that's, that's a hard song. Yeah, I'm taking Stick right now by J.I.D. Low-key, I've been really into J.I.D. lately. Yeah. Uh, I'm sweating. I'm sweating. From the, the bath salts? Yeah, I think I'm sweating the bath salts right now. Um, I gotta look through really quick. Stick is definitely top three. Treat You Better, Rufus' is Soul. Oh, yeah, that's a good song. I thought you were gonna say, like, Give You On or something like that. No? Mm. Christine? <sighs> Can I guess? Yeah. Call Me Baby. Call me maybe. No. no. Oh, let me guess again. Okay. Um, Rolling in the Deep by Adele. <laughs> no. Oh, but those are my like guilty pleasure songs. I got asked that one. If you could ask everyone what like. What does that even mean? I, I hear that all the time. What does that mean? I guess like for me, I define it as like a song that's super overplayed. But I, whenever I hear it, I still get hyped. Wait, are you talking about the phrase guilty pleasure? <laughs> like, no, as a song. I hear a song after it. So I'm like, what does that mean? I thought it meant like something that gets you like sexually, like you know what I mean, like you do it sexually, sexually aroused. Yeah. No, that's, that's your sexual song. No, it doesn't guilt. Wait, doesn't guilty pleasure just mean like a song you would not play around people, oh, but it's a song that you love though. That sounds right. That sounds yeah. right. Okay. Mine is a uh, Down on Me by. I know that whole song by heart. <laughs> Fifty Cent and um, Jeremiah. <laughs> Mine's a uh, The Way by Ariana Grande. <laughs> <laughs> that is an amazing song. That's a great. My song. other one is Havana by Camila. Dude, <laughs> I, I, I got that one. That's <laughs> hard. You, 
song. Yeah, it's a hard song. <laughs> That's a fucking no, tough those song. Those are like my, probably my two biggest guilty pleasure songs. Super bass by Nicki Minaj. Yes. I like anything like old Justin Bieber. Oh, yeah. Like Home Justin to Mama Bieber. is Hell such yeah. a good song. <laughs> I'm going to say... T- Damn. Damn. Gunshots, gotta go. <laughs> I'm gonna say TGIF by Katy Perry. Mistletoe, Justin Bieber. Yes. What's the other one? I Can Be Your Boyfriend or Boyfriend, Justin Bieber. Yeah. I know that shit. Hmm? I practice that shit. Boyfriend by I Justin Bieber? Sweet. Yeah. Oh. When I was younger? You I had to. like <laughs> to be anything you want. Hey, girl, let me talk, talk to you. If I was okay, Sage, what's your favorite song? That's a great song. Baby Bust It by D Savage. I, I thought you were talking about this. I was like, bust it. Bust it. You know that, that trend <laughs> Wait, on TikTok? I, yeah, I don't know that's what you're talking yeah, about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no. Definitely not that song. <laughs> D Sav can't be a guilty pleasure. No, I, she just said favorite song. Yeah, oh, I just favorite said favorite song. song. Oh, what about guilty pleasure? Something by JT. City Girls. <laughs> <laughs> City Girls is a good song. Real ass bitch. I would, eat, I would eat that song, though. <laughs> I like that song. Um, I don't think I have a guilty pleasure song. Mine's a... Uh, <laughs> Ir- what's the song by Beyonce it's like Irreplaceable yeah, is it, is yeah that that's like, a really good song it's the one with like the crazy beat I take back what I said um fucking We Belong Together by Mariah Carey that's my guilty pleasure song I mean, can't you see <laughs> fireworks Katy Perry any Katy Perry song my, my might be London Bridge by Fergie <laughs> not gonna lie <laughs> That song is tough. How come every time you come around my London, London Bridge, wanna come down like, num, num, num. that's a great song too. Wait, so Christine, which one's your song? Which one's your favorite? Mine would be the Scoop on Heaven, which is a new Mac Miller song. The Scoop on Heaven. It made me cry. The lyrics. Actually, I'm about to geek out on you right now. Yeah. It's an old mixtape. They just released. I know, it. Oh. but like, <laughs> <laughs> excuse me, I do my research too. Good respect i i know it's like a old mixtape that he had done but like just the lyrics hearing it now was sad so that's my favorite song right now wait so what'd you say your favorite song was of all time right now at the moment Mm. jimmy crooks Mm. tesco green no um i would probably say your pussy (laughs) is calling my my name name. (laughs) your pussy um, <laughs> it would. <laughs> it's a weird song. Low key, I've been listening to. I mean, you gotta take a look. Skip over me right now. You're the last one. <laughs> oh, I am. <laughs> um, Insert cut here. <laughs> I would say. <laughs> um, um, I've listened to Matilda by uh, <gasps> Harry Styles a lot. That's such a good song. It's so depressing. It's so <laughs> sad. That that and a uh, satellite. Yeah, I love Harry Styles. I say Orna. <laughs> <laughs> Orna's hard. Eyes by Rufus the Soul. Lene, <laughs> <laughs> guys, Lene is playing, or I don't know if you guys care. Lene, yeah. <laughs> can you stop stroking that thing? <laughs> Sorry, it's, it feels really nice. <laughs> I'm kidding. Next question. <laughs> <Duh>. <laughs> this person asked, "How do you think guys should handle their pubic Wait, hair?" <laughs> can I go back to the last question? True yeah. colors by the weekend. <laughs> yeah. Ask, ask it again, Christine. <laughs> Sorry. I want Madu's opinion on this first. Okay. Um, this is a, a guy asking, but he said, how do you think guys should handle their pubic hair? Actually, I, I would Excuse like to know me, this too. I said, I said, oh, you're just kidding. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were about to cut off Madu. No, 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 no. I'd like to hear this too. What do I expect a guy? Yes. This, yeah, or, I guess. Or for take myself. Both take both ways. Or for myself. No, no, no. This person said, "Do you? How do you think guys should handle their pubic hair?" Oh, for me personally, I really don't care. I never even noticed that stuff. Like, if he's hairy or not. What if he's like bare though? Like nothing. Then I notice. I'm like, oh, you shaved. <laughs> but, is that, <laughs> but is that like? Is that like? Is that weird? The though? beast has awakened. <laughs> 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 going in it's, it's not Bra- bravo six <laughs> going dark <laughs> bravo six <laughs> <laughs> enemy you ain't being it's not weird sorry okay. it's not weird but like i will notice but like in a just in a i will notice way yeah it's like i'm gonna notice because it, it looks naked now <laughs> <laughs> so it's like oh that shit's naked doesn't it kind of look like a naked mole rat when there's nothing going on there yeah. down there See, I, you remember you used to think like did you ever used to think like yeah like like when you first started shaving you're like yeah i'm just gonna go like shave it all down like it looks I, good bro I, bro yeah. yeah and then I, I realized i was like 
this doesn't look too <laughs> this yeah. doesn't look right. it doesn't look right like it doesn't look like it's meant to be like that that's why i think it kind of catches me off guard I, I heard somebody somebody once said that guys who like are completely bare it looks like raw chicken <laughs> <laughs> oh my god that's the perfect way to describe it because i that's I gross hate when guys that's are bald. crazy like, but just because it's just like it's just weird like it's not natural type stuff it just looks off. Just something, something looks wrong. Yeah. It looks better when there's like trimmed hair. Like, yeah. yes, yeah, 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 I yeah, like yeah. it. Okay, I don't care, but sometimes, like, I also don't like it when guys just like shave, like, you know, the hairs like around your like groin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I don't like when guys shave that because sometimes it gets really like irritated oh, when yeah, it yeah. like rubs. Oh, so you're saying like, like shave, shave, like all the way down? Yeah, I don't yeah. like, I don't like when guys, like, that's just a preference for me because it, it, irritates my skin but yeah definitely no naked i've seen it a couple times and it's always like shocked me and i yeah. and i tell them i'm like hey like this shit looks like a raw chicken fam. <laughs> no, no, no no i don't say that i just i just ask like hey next time like you don't have to shave yeah see okay yeah when i was younger i thought i had to because like one it looks a lot Bigger, bigger, like when it's shaved. Really? Yeah, it definitely is that does. What it is? Big man, yeah. big man things, eh? Yeah, it's big man's things. Big man things, eh? Okay, yeah. One, that, and two. I used to think that for the longest time though, that girls liked guys who just like bare, like because yeah. like I used to think that like hair down there meant like you would be like girls would get like think I was dirty or something like that or like yeah, yeah, yeah unsanitary yeah. stuff like that. But definitely like as I've grown up, I've realized that like girls actually hate it more. I don't know if every girl hates it more, but I think a majority find it a little bit unsettling when it's naked. I think that's the best way what to put it. What about when you were younger, though? Same mentality? like You know what? I was going to get into that, Nick. Yeah. Go ahead. Did you have the same mentality, Maru? No, I didn't. That's why I was going to... So, in, before, I thought... I Damn. I think it's because the first penis I saw was shaved mm. but okay. then but then like after so like i thought it was like i guess natural norm, like normal for got guys you to, like, got you got you got you and then like later on like obviously after like I, like i kept seeing like unnaked <laughs> penis <laughs> so, <laughs> <laughs> just say just say just say little pee pee little yeah <laughs> little jocelyn little pee pee um and so like i got used to that and so like when i when i see like just like naked fully shaved i'm like oh shit and it does look got weird. Got you. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. But even when you were younger, though, you said, like, it, you, you wouldn't have been thrown off if a dude was, like, just never shaved. Not never shaved, but, like, he just kept it, like, trimmed, not, like, bare. Yeah, I wouldn't have been thrown got off. Got you. Yeah. But I also wanted to add, I feel like when you don't shave at all and that shit gets bushy, mm. that shit gets irritating when you're fucking, so. No, for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would say just just trim it. I know, guys, Um, I've had friends that buy, like, beard trimmers and they just use it on their balls and they just have like a separate one for like their groin area but because like naked is weird and then like super hairy sometimes can cause irritation um but if you want to you can but you know just clean did um wait okay so Devin says did you guys also think that when you were younger that you had to be was it like the same mentality that i had where i, I thought that girls would be like it just looked like dirty or like uncut. I just thought that too. I just yeah. 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 <laughs> why do you why do you think that though? Not not dirty. I don't think not, it was dirty. not dirty, but like I thought I had to be though. Man. Yeah. So yeah, I always yeah. thought it was partially a sanitary thing. Like yeah. it was in the like you're supposed to. Yeah. But then again, how are you like I never even seen a to like later on. Yeah. So I don't think I would even have thought about that to be honest. I don't know where I I don't know where. <clears throat> oh, actually, no that. cap scissors. Ew. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You guys use scissors? No, no, no. Back, way back no, then. Yeah, yeah, way back then. <laughs> it was a fucking jungle it in there, bro. It was big thing, man. You can't, you can't, you can't <laughs> big, just big go, man. I go in there with no shaver, <laughs> bro. No razors. Not yeah, I would have broken the shaver. Yeah, I would have broken the razor. It was going to be stuck in there, yeah. yeah. I feel like big man ting is going to be your guys' next phrase for a month. <laughs> big, <No>. man <laughs> <teams>. <laughs> big man ting. Big man ting, Yeah, um... That's weird though, because thinking about it, yeah. When I was younger, I definitely thought I had to be, but it's just weird, because I don't even know. I don't even remember girls telling me that like they liked it better when dudes were bare but i would just say yeah just keep it like trimmed like just keep it kept when did you first say i want to say like seventh grade eighth grade i want to say like seventh eighth grade yeah i went in that bitch with the fucking the shears the, bro. <laughs> the fucking shears bro for bushes that shit was crazy i want to say seventh eighth grade yeah it was eighth grade yeah what about what about for girls 
Oh, for girls, I feel completely different because, like, I feel like people always have been saying that, like, you need to shave down there and stuff like that, right? I didn't shave until I probably went to college. Really? But, like, yeah. what about now, though? Are you kind of just, like, keeping it kept? I get waxes because shaving is generally not good for you. Yeah. So, yeah. guys, too, if you can, like, laser or wax is, like, a really great option just to, like, keep things, like, tidy. But, yeah, I wax now. Sometimes everything comes off and then sometimes i'm like no i kind of want to like leave it mm -hmm. um but i also don't care if i let it grow yeah does that make sense no yeah it does make sense yeah i mean me as a guy i don't really care i don't need i know nah, i don't care but i don't care but i do know guys that do care and yeah. like i said when i was younger though i know actually i know a lot of guys that do care yeah. and even when i was younger i thought the same thing but it's kind of, it's kind of like it doesn't really matter no. i always thought you it was know? dumb Huh? I thought it was dumb. What? Mm -hmm. To be like, ugh. Like, yeah. You know I mean, I was like, I think, um, I feel like that's a high school thing. People yeah. that care about that shit. Mm -hmm. And then, like, I realized, like, now, like, really no one gives a fuck. I say in high school, though, a lot of people do care about that. Yeah. Sure. I feel like we should say our ages. Everyone asks what are our they ages. And I don't think anybody yeah. actually knows. Well, everybody's 21 except for you, right? I'm 26. 14, 5. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm 22. Four. And then you guys are 21. Yeah. I'm 1300. Okay, my next question <laughs> is, a, is a funny question. To make it less deep, but <laughs> grizzly bear versus a silverback gorilla. Grizzly, grizzly bear. bear. No. What? I, Are you serious? I'm, I'm, I'm with Sage. A, gor a silverback yeah, gorilla. Okay, you got 800 pounds silverback gorilla. <laughs> no. Ooh, fucking diesel. I'm, diesel. I'm a debate diesel. with you. Gorilla no. for sure. Yeah, pull up, gorilla pull up, hundred. Pull up the weight on a fully grown gorilla okay. and a fully grown. I want to hear your reasoning. Eight hundred pounds silverback gorilla. We're on the same page here. <laughs> after them. Before we start, I want stats. I want to know how much a fully grown. Okay, I'm looking it up. Grizzly bear and a fully grown silverback gorilla. Eight hundred pounds. Okay, stats like that don't really oh. matter when like. Okay, the stats like that don't matter. No, 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 it, 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 doesn't, it does matter. It does matter. But then I feel like. Okay, wait. Grizzly bears weigh up to seven hundred pounds, while the silverback weighs three. 300 to 400 but but oh, fully yeah grown? keep explaining yes, let's hear grown. it let me let me say my piece but gorillas are smarter what the fuck is it gonna do fucking build a spear so they would so they would know how to spar more but like grizzly bears just like she just said a gorilla would know how to spar more against a fucking i think it would definitely know how to fight more yeah how to fight more it's not gonna be fucking no, dodging punches no, a gorilla will have strategy yes a, it will a grizzly bear would not have you ever seen a, a chimpanzee no, no, or anything rampage? They just go like they just fucking hit. wild. No, yeah, but they they catch that. <sighs> okay, yeah. no, dude, <laughs> yeah. a grizzly bear. A bear's out, bro. Knives for fingers. Yep. On top of that, no, but it dude, has jaw. Do you realize this? That the fucking monkey literally rip apart like his face. Yeah. No. Oh, yes, it this. can. Oh, oh, you this. Does, bro, yeah, listen, a, wait, a, wait. A, it can literally rip him apart. Dude, all it takes is this. All it takes is this. And a gorilla has hands. You guys realize? How useful hands are, like you What's grab he? onto no. shit. No, listen, Maria. If I'm going out with you a punch and I get a knife to my throat, that's all. All it takes. All it takes. No, no. It, it takes one little stab right well, he here. Has paws. Like yeah, he okay. can swipe on your shit and stuff. He could swipe on stuff, but a gorilla can grab his shit and stop him from swiping. A gorilla's not gonna choke out anything. You guys are thinking a gorilla as a human being. No, I think. No, I think <laughs> <laughs> What's he gonna say? No, fuck, fuck but he up. could grab onto shit. Is okay, what I'm trying to say. A gorilla in the wild is not gonna physically choke somebody. It doesn't choke things, Mario. It fucking hits like this and it bites. How do you All, know that? You have nothing. Nah, bro. But the, you don't understand how much of a dog a gorilla is. It has. It's more of a dog than a grizzly okay. for sure. All right, all right. You know like what, I'm, I'm, I'm telling you right now, it's gonna keep going. I'll tell you this. I will tell you that a gorilla is definitely gonna be faster. I will give you guys that. Grizzly bears are much more aggressive, therefore more dangerous. Well, a grizzly bear takes one hit. You're talking about fight, though. They're, they're equally going to be a, they're no, equally a gonna grizzly be bear needs one swipe. Look at the bite force. Look up the bite force on a gorilla and a and a, <laughs> That's and what a, I'm saying. And a bear right now. All it takes is one you need these stats a, a vegan, matter, though. A vegan or a fucking... They don't. They really don't. Grizzly because bear. Have you ever seen... I've, I've seen a big-ass dude get knocked out by a, like a, little, a little guy. For sure. Yeah. I mean, I did see a... Um, an old case of this woman who raised a gorilla. Yeah, this, I, just I literally just that. watched that. Did you just they see that on TikTok? Rip apart. It was a chimpanzee. They could easily yeah. just like deep. Like it doesn't matter yeah. how a gorilla. Or, a do you bear understand? Is a, too a bone is a bone. A bear is, is a bone. Tall, a face is a face. Oh. That man could literally do anything that he wants. No. To. And he's yes, faster he too. I feel like I mean, grizzly bears aren't as fast as gorillas. A uh, ten-inch mm -hmm. razor sharp claws. <laughs> Holy shit. Nah, I'm still taking gorilla. Mm -hmm. Paws twenty um, inches across. 
Do you know how fucking big that is? It's a lot bigger than my pee pee, that's for sure. I'm telling you, like, what are you saying? I don't know. Anyways, <laughs> teeth, <laughs> teeth meant for pierce fleshing. So the girl. I, I said that wrong. Piercing flesh. Sorry. <laughs> what? Things. But the good uh, dude, uh, a bear's Their teeth hide, are though? strong enough to tear apart a car apart. A, a grizzly bear. A grizzly bear. Yeah, but see, you guys have to realize a bear too. No, no, a bear too. Their hide, like their fur, is so fucking thick. Like it, you can't even like shoot a bear with like a pistol. You have to get like a legit ass fucking okay. hunting rifle. Okay. It says grizzly bears are faster as well. What? You yeah. guys? I don't know. I don't, I'm still Christine, thinking. So we're Christine, back. you're decide. You're the decider. But can grizzly bears climb as good as gorillas? Why the fuck is it climbing? Wait, it's grizzly bears can bears climb. Bears can climb actually really fast. Probably not fast though. You know what? Yeah. Then you convinced me again, yo. I was convinced with the. I completely forgot about their claws. I think it also depends on where they are, because if that that shit's in a jungle, that, that oh, like home, home eaten turf. Up. Yeah, home turf. Oh, if he could like, like climb up in the trees. Yeah, he's <laughs> swinging. <laughs> <laughs> if he's swinging, he's dropping down, give him a fucking big right. one, and then going back that up and coming back. I'll give you. Like, I'll give you the jungle. I'll give you the jungle. <laughs> but in general, I'm know. saying grizzly bears. Okay, you know what? Ten inch knives. I got swayed. <laughs> Is a is a is a polar bear bigger than a grizzly bear? Isn't it? No, no a, bear. A, black, a black a black bear is the smallest. Is smallest. Mm. Black bear smallest. Polar bears and then grizzly bears. I think that's how it is. Polar bears scare me. Thank you to um, Bryce Lee 103 for that riveting question. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't realize grizzly how bear. how tough that would get. Grizzly bear. Okay. Grizzly. Okay, crocodile or shark? Crocodile. A shark? No. Are you fucking I'm just kidding. kidding me? Do you know how heavy sharks get? True. Oh shark wait, for sure. I have a question. I've already asked the guys this, but I want to ask the girls this. What's the biggest animal you guys think you could like take on and kill? Hmm. Be realistic. Be realistic. Like, and it, it has to be with your your Maybe bare a hands. duck. A duck. <laughs> because today I was <laughs> no listen. Today, no today, Jason and I went Sorry. to a park. We 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 got Chick Fil A and went to go eat it at a park. And I was like, oh, I want to go to this park by your house that has ducks because I want to feed them. The way that they were just like staring, like intimidating. It's intimidating us, though. I was like, that's actually kind of scary. And like I would like wave my hand at them, and they were. They were like not moving, and I was like, "That's scary." Okay, I could believe a geese. I think I, I could believe a geese. A duck, you could kill. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. A geese, geese I could believe. Fucking aggressive. Yeah, like a, yeah, maybe a goose would be okay. my. What about a chihuahua? I'm losing. Oh, no, I will no, no, drop no. kick that bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I swear no, to God. Don't say that. I'm sorry. I don't she like has a chihuahuas. Chihuahua. I know you have a chihuahua. Have Sage has a chihuahua too. I don't have a chihuahua. He has a Yorkie. Oh. Yorkie. Yorkie. <laughs> <laughs> looks like a chihuahua. Like, no, that shit looks I disgusting. I have met chihuahuas that are like super cute and like quiet and like really gentle, yeah. but I'm saying like the ones that are yappy, the ankle biters, yeah. I will drop kick. Okay, yeah. you tell me. What animal? <laughs> Uh, I was gonna say something. Fuck, but good thing I didn't say. Um, fucking um, what was I gonna say? Oh yeah, you said biggest animal. Biggest animal that I could take on. Yeah, with your bare hands. For sure, I think I could take on an ostrich, and that th them shits are big. Hell no. no. Hell yes, I can. With your bare hands, yeah. Madu, they're tall, no, and they I run like tall. forty miles an hour. <laughs> How, How would you kill it? How would you kill it? <laughs> <laughs> Grab his long ass neck. Like, just what is up with you with choking shit? They're flexible with the neck. <laughs> yeah, they're really flexible. You can't break that. You're not gonna be able to break that neck. Yeah. And then they got like skinny ass legs. Like I feel like I could just kick one of them. I know, like you nah, that's look up how much though. an ostrich weighs right now. There's no way. You know how big an ostrich probably weigh like I'll probably say a, cool a hippo. They're tall. <laughs> no, Devin, you cannot. A hippo. You kidding me? Look at this. Ostriches <laughs> weigh from lock? 140 to 320 pounds. Yeah, Maru, that's duh, like that's big, man. That's pretty big. I really think I could take an ostrich. Do you, you but, take a falcon? If I give you a bare knife, hands, if I gave you a knife, I, I would believe you. But bare hands, you are not killing an ostrich. But how are you gonna kill it though? Mm. She said, choke it. Strategy. Ostriches. Okay. <laughs> so obviously, it's gonna try using a beak. They range from seven feet to 9.2 feet tall. Oh shit, that's kind of <laughs> scary. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> No, they're pretty, they're fucking big and they're fucking mean too. They're yeah. aggressive too. I think I'm gonna go flamingo. No. Nah, you could go. They're not. They're not, than a they're not aggressive. Oh, they though. aren't. No, you yeah, you could go bigger than a flamingo. A well, yeah, but you could obviously take on something bigger. You guys think you guys could take a kangaroo? Flamingo no. Ah, uh, oh, yeah, I maybe. Think so. I think so. Bare hands. Mm -mm. Kangaroos are overrated. I think they're all talk. They're like all. They're all. Yeah. They're all talk. They're kind of jacked though. They're jacked. 
I've I've seen videos of them throwing hands, but then they kind of stop. Like this. Bro, imagine getting kicked by a kangaroo. That's I'm not worried about the punching. I'm worried about it kicking me. Yeah, never mind. You guys for sure can. (laughs) Okay, okay. (laughs) Uh, Not for sure. I think I I would put up a good fight. I think I could. Mm -hmm. I think I could. But I would definitely have a couple broken bones, a couple scratches. But I think I could take on a kangaroo. I think, but the thing is with the kangaroo, I feel like once you hit it a few times, it bitches out. No, it does. That's the thing. It yeah. doesn't. It like kind of shies away. It doesn't really like no, get more aggressive. It kind of yeah. just like it kind of stops. Like it's stunned or something. It stops. <laughs> hit him one time. He's like, yeah. Oh, fuck. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they all get myself into. Like, yeah. They, get- <laughs> <laughs> they look ripped. All of them though. They're I know what videos you guys are talking about. I see those videos where they just like stop. And They're just, like, like this. Like, <laughs> <laughs> no, they try to they try to grab you like that and they try yeah. to take you down but that's their main thing like they, they try, try to, to put grab, you in the pouch they try to yeah they try, no <laughs> <laughs> they start they start running away like crazy yeah. um okay wait christine what about you think you can take on a i'm trying to think i'm trying to think of like a you think you can take on a coyote a co- coyotes are pretty small yeah i think i could take on a coyote Same. you think you can take a coyote on okay because like i think they're about the same size as my dog they're pretty small. Coyotes are pretty small. Yeah. They're not aggressive though. I've never really seen. Like, oh, okay, but I'm zero one yeah. against the uh, the dog family. I got fucked up when I was like ten. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so my confidence is a little low on the coyote. Some dogs are really. S- some dogs can be very vicious. Yeah. 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 Although coyotes seem like they're all talk to. True. You think you can take on a golden retriever? They're not mean. But if it was. I think if the dog was like actually trying to like push me down, I think it would be because I. Like, how much does a golden retriever weigh? Like, 80 pounds? Not like 80 pounds. Nah, some would probably be a little over that. Yeah, yeah, right? Like, that running into me would knock me down. Fucking move. <laughs> no, like, if I if I, if I I was, like, running away from it and it, like, outran me and jumped on the back of me, uh, I'd be out flat. I think I could take on a hyena. It's like, <laughs> 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 I think if you gave me, I think if you gave me the knife in your purse, I could take on a hyena. But we're doing just hands, though. They're aggressive, though, dude. Hyenas are aggressive. No, they are. They're like they're, evil. They're, their mindset Have is you seen the jungle fucking book? evil, yeah. True. Hmm. You get mobbed. True. Okay, fine. Never mind. I'm not taking on a hyena. Yeah, you can't really say a hyena is singular because they never real single. True. I'm going to get jumped, aren't I? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Once they go, <laughs> everybody you else coming around, in. Yeah. You screwed. Now they're all laughing at you. What if I'm wearing my Power Ranger suit? They would know not to fuck with me. They'd probably laugh at you more. <laughs> mm. Okay. Fuck, even I don't even think I could take a snake out. Like a rattlesnake, I'd be too no, scared fuck to no, take I'm it out. No, fuck no, I'm not killing a snake. I'm running yeah. from the rattlesnake. <laughs> yeah. I think I could take on a cub, like a bear cub. Yeah. Like a little baby, a little baby bear. Damn, I think I could. That's it. so sad though. Fuck that bear! He's trying to kill me. <laughs> a baby bear? They're not trying to kill. They don't kill. They don't have instincts. Give me, like that give yet. me five baby bears, and I'm killing them all. Mm, you're so I'm, heartless. I'm kicking them all. You're yeah. What about a Russian baby? A Russian baby, oh, I would not. I'm, I'm getting not fighting. knocked out. Oh, okay. Me, bro. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Next question. <laughs> next question. Okay. Um, your house is burning down, and you can save only three things. What do you save? Your family's already safe, so oh, they don't okay, count. Okay, okay. This question is from Erica Williams. I'm saving any alcohol in my house first. <laughs> That's number one. <laughs> It'd make the place blow up, right? Exactly, why, yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing that first. Number two, my cool hats. family and pets are saved. Yeah. Okay. I wasn't even thinking about my fucking pets. <laughs> <laughs> Nick, you're so <laughs> fucked. I was thinking about my dog. My dog is number one. <laughs> That's number one for sure. Um, fuck. I might be going to hell. Um, my YG 400 hoodie that I got when I was <laughs> <laughs> a junior in high school. That's yeah, two. That's- and the third one would be probably my LED lights. The fuck? That's it? Probably, <laughs> probably. I don't know that I don't own that many. Your YouTube plaque? Oh, and my YouTube plaque. Take that back. Instead of the LED lights, I'll keep the YouTube plaque. Yeah, those are my three. Your podcast setup, maybe? There's a lot of things here. Nah, I'd rather take the alcohol. I can buy another one of these. Can you just buy more alcohol? I already paid for it though. Did you already pay for that? I hate wasting alcohol. Who's next? Me. Um. My mochas. <laughs> what? <laughs> Shoes. Your mochas? Her <laughs> mochas. <laughs> oh, mochas. I was like, what? My mochas. My fucking. My dunks. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> my other dunks. 
<laughs> you, guys, you know what? No, that's of, valid. That's nah. a lot of fucking money. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah, thinking yeah, about a lot of the money. expensive yeah. shit that I have, yeah. you know? And yeah. you could resell it later to buy the oh, things yeah. that you missed. Yes. That's yeah. valid. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Actually, I take that back. I'm going to take one of my dunks out and then put in my Prada bag. Mm. Investment, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Devin? My paintings? <laughs> Those go for millions. That sounded dorky. I don't <laughs> like that. No, that's cute. Um, they want to get to know us better. Um, my Mac Miller stuff. Yeah. <laughs> it's just getting worse. And nah, it's not getting worse. Trust me, buddy. Um, and then probably this other art piece that my dad gave me. It's the like Jaguar head. Tough. Yeah. That is tough. Yeah. Probably that. Cause Very, sentimental very sentimental. Yeah. 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 I would take this teddy bear that I've had since I was born. Um, Smart. And then I would take take that back i am so sorry go ahead i just had a thought yeah um the, this little plush chihuahua that my grandma gave me instead but of what dope. instead, instead what? uh instead of <laughs> i worked really hard on those paintings <laughs> uh, <laughs> you can't give up the paintings bro instead those are of, sick as but fuck. you can't give up mac miller shit yeah the, I mean, the jaguar head jaguar head yeah i would do the teddy bear and then my mom kept this journal that I found when I turned like 20 of like, she wrote in it when she was pregnant with me. That's sick. Aww, what was she, what was she, what was it? It was like monthly updates. Like, hey, we just went to your doctor. Oh, that's and, like, so cute. It, Damn. She did it, she made it specifically for you? Yeah. And like, that's it has sick. like ultrasounds in it. And I found this like really randomly. And huh, when I first read that shit, it made me sob. No, did yeah, she, sure. did she okay. give it yeah. to you or did you just find no, it? No, like, I found it. And I, and I confronted my mom about it and she was like, yeah, I've, I did that for you uh, and your sister when you guys were little. That's How it. many entries does it have? Like, It's like for one year wow. or like That's basically so for like nine months, like while she was pregnant. That's so cool. Yeah. So that, and then my third thing. <sighs> oh, maybe one of my Lego sets. Which one? Damn, so you're not saving your dog either? No, my dog is our, okay. Uh, your your safe, family safe, and pets safe, are safe. safe. Yeah. Damn, Nick, I feel kind of shallow. I feel super shallow too. <laughs> Damn. I have, no, I have nothing the sentimental though in here. That side and this I know, maybe side that is like, the cooler side. I know, maybe it is. I'll give y'all that. <laughs> um, my last thing. Oh, my dad's guitar. Okay. That, that he's had for like twenty tough. years. That's yeah. tough. So, hey, what are we thinking? My earrings. I really, oh, oh, that's already on me, though. My, my, yeah, exactly. My, yeah, my New York rock. The stuff on you is on you. I think I was going to take the rock for sure. The rock? From New York. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah, that, that rock. <laughs> oh, I thought we were talking about the rock. Yeah. It's like Dwayne the rock? Dwayne the rock. No. We're always talking about him for some reason. Like, his video that he did with Kevin Hart for the tortilla challenge. Dude, that was, was hilarious. So the squeaky funny. noise when he drums. <laughs> Dude, I don't know. My, my facial hair trimmer. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have too many things. I'd probably just say my dunks and fuck, dude. I'm not a very like materialistic type person. No, nah, I don't have too many materialistic things like yeah. that. I like hold on too much. Yeah, too much and I wasn't. I wasn't really given like a lot of like no, materialistic either. things either when I was growing up. Mm. I wish. I, I wish I did though. Mm. Like I really do. Like Devin, you're sounding like you have your paintings. You you have like that teddy bear, and you have like what your mom gave you, but. Other than that, like I'm not very materialistic. Like if there was genuinely a fire going down, you're, you're my just... phone. <laughs> oh yeah, I was I was thinking that. That's so basic though. But usually that's on you though. Yeah, right? that's basic. Yeah, I don't have anything to save in there. <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing really to say. Yeah, but you your room. You just have a TV though in your room, and that's it. I don't know. Actually, I do have this one thing. I have a like a picture of my aunt on a T-shirt. That's, that's pretty. That's probably two things I'd save. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Thank you for asking that question. Oh, wait, I already said that at Erica Williams. But anyway, thank question. you. Yeah, that is a great question. Okay, this next one is a relationship question. They ask Elena Castaneda, I'm sorry for butchering any names, asks, is watching porn considered cheating in a relationship? Mm, no. That's a good question. How is that a good question? <laughs> <laughs> no. Some girls think it is. Yeah, really? some, some girls do think it is. Yeah, I have come across girls that have thought Same. that. Do you know what their argument is? I'm right here. Why would you need to use porn to like get off? Basically, you're getting off from another girl. But what? Mm -hmm. if, what if he's like? What if you're like busy? 
that they say like oh you should just wait or just jack off that's like the argument that i've had just jack off like to nothing <laughs> To your thoughts or something. Y'all don't be doing that. So no. Imagine, what the no, okay. fuck? You know what I noticed? Men cannot imagine things to get off. No, I I, I could definitely get hard. No, I just no, no, don't know if I want to come to that. Yeah, like, funny, that was really if crazy, I'm, actually. I'm, I don't know if I should have said that. Like, my thoughts are running, like... I'm, yeah, I'm gonna be thinking of like what I'm doing tomorrow and then like the cinnamon man. Hey, no way, dude. My ADHD would be going crazy. Like, I would be trying to, and then I'll think about like the shirt that she's wearing, and then I'll get to like a store, and then eventually I'll get to like why I was traumatized as a kid. <laughs> yeah. So, like, there's no way that I would be able to like get off specifically to thoughts. That is it was not gonna go for that long. It's not, yeah, no, no. You guys, you guys are saying that you can? I think girls are very the good at the like. Whole, you, the whole You would not yeah. get distracted by anything. I can finish without. Yeah using anything but my imagination yeah oh wait Woo. <laughs> <laughs> christine you are blessed you or are blessed. maybe i have watched too much porn mm. what you <laughs> there's no yeah, such thing as watching too much porn, buddy. <laughs> yeah. no, I this started, guy i started way too young i was in fifth grade yeah. and like i started puberty around then so like it was like I was curious about these yeah, things, yeah. so I went home and I looked for it, and that's when it started. I think I started too young, I watched too much, and then at one point I was like, this shit doesn't like yeah. do it for me anymore. So I had to find a different way. Can you imagine doing it with like someone that you've never done it with though? Like let's say it was like Chris Hemsworth. Could you like do it? To, or does it have to be with somebody? Like, you know how you said that you could like get off to like just your thoughts? Can you do it to like somebody that you've never been with before though? Like a celebrity? Yeah, yeah or like or like or like a dude that you have a crush on. Yeah. Oh yeah. That's, That's how it is. Crazy. That's how it is. You just like yeah. you just create these like idealistic scenarios <laughs> in your head. <laughs> I'm with Christine. Yeah. That was yeah. me too. So I like, think most girls are that way. Yeah. Or um okay, I'm not gonna lie. Yes, I've watched porn and like I You used... disg <laughs> You <laughs> disgust me. But like I don't I don't like find it like <laughs> you know, like I don't be Why? really watching porn like that anymore. When I was in high school, yeah. Oh, wait. So the original question was, wait, so do you guys think it's cheating then? Cheating? Um, oh, no, I do not. No. But I could see why people would think it's disrespectful. I think, yeah. I think if it gets to like the point where he'd rather watch porn than have sex with that's, me, that's, that's weird. when I would that's be weird. like, that's hey, an addiction. yeah, this yeah. is something that we need to talk about. But like... If he's horny and I'm not there, then like. What if you caught him? Ooh. Would you would you like scold him or would you laugh? Honestly, honestly I'd be like, "What are you watching? Like, I want to watch too." That's my like serious response. Yeah. Would you? How would you act if you caught him? One time I kind of did. Okay, well, not really like that, but it's just like I came, and then like we were on his bed, and then like. We were gonna search something up on Safari, and right. he had that shit open. <laughs> literally, nah. literally, guys, like, that's like a dude's worst nightmare. Literally, Pornhub right there. That oh. is like didn't even try oh, like to no. like x that shit out. Like as soon as it I hit Safari, Bro. not even open new tab. Like I hit Safari, Pornhub. I was like, that is wild, oh. dude. When I was younger, that was like my number one biggest fear. Like when I opened up my laptop or like opened up my phone, like stuff like that. Like it would be on it. <laughs> I would, I would delete everything right away. Yeah. Hey, yo, uh, you mind looking something up real quick for me? Yeah, bro. That's how I, I would literally hide it. They'd be like, what are you hiding for? I'm like, oh, nothing. And then I'd show him once it would be like, okay. But I never got caught. But when I saw that, I honestly, I didn't really know how to feel about it. Like, I was just like, what the fuck? Like, I guess. But like, at the same time, it wasn't like I was like, you're fucking disgusting. No, it was just like. It was also like, I was like, bro, you knew I was coming over. Why are you watching porn? Like, you know? Yeah. Like, yeah. Damn. Or well, maybe he did the, the infinity, infinity technique. Oh, the, yeah. the, the, the cheat code. <laughs> yeah, cheat code. Is that what you, I felt like that was the thing. Like, maybe, like, you guys don't want to finish too fast. So, like, you... Oh, oh okay, that makes sense. Oh, that cheat code. That makes sense. That cheat code never works. <laughs> that, cheat code, that cheat code never worked. It never worked. It never it, worked. It doesn't really work it too well. Really? No. H have you guys tried it? I've tried. Oh, I've tried it. Yeah, many. I think we all have. <laughs> like maybe this time it'll work. And then you try uh, timing it. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. It's just like uh, you're supposed to do like 15 minutes like, yeah. before they come, and then. Is that what it is? Oh, I wasn't doing it 15 minutes before. I was doing it like 
earlier in the day. Nah, it never works. Usually, really. <laughs> but like, yeah. how come like when you go multiple rounds? Okay, that's that's like back to though. back, and it's like because, the yeah, same yeah, stimulation. Yeah. Oh. And like, yeah, the stimulation, like the feeling, like mm. hands really not a feeling. Oh, gotcha, you know gotcha. I mean? you. Okay, yeah. gotcha. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Damn, people are gonna think I'm ran through too. Like, why? Because I I know too much now. Like, nah. I have a question. I have a question. Yes. Like. <laughs> it's a little too crazy. Yeah, I don't know. There's a thought. There's a thought. There's a thought of like. Okay, so like, okay, it's just because I don't want to say vagina. What do I say? Do I say pussy? Say do I say vagina? Say hua. Hua. Okay. This is like. Okay, so like when you. Okay, so when you're in, right? When you're in, and you're thinking like hua, like, doesn't that make you like almost like want to just like yeah, yeah immediately? Yeah. It's yeah. it's insane. Yeah. Literally, I'm I'm low key. If I don't, so like for me, if I don't like distract focus? myself, no, no, no. If I focus, like if I focus, I I'm literally about to like do it in like thirty seconds. <laughs> what, what are you thinking about? I'm thinking about my grandma. I'm thinking about I'm thinking Ew. about Devin. I'm thinking about Sage. I'm thinking about what I gotta do tomorrow for sure. Because if I just like lock in, it's over. Uh, it's and, like, over. Oh yeah, it's over. It's fucking mm-hmm. over. Because like especially when you like I, I think about the sensation. It, I had it be over once in ten ins and outs. Oh, I'd, I'd, for you? I'd be no, in them. For, for <laughs> <laughs> oh, you have! I've, 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 come, I've come damn near close to 10. Oh, yeah. I've come right. damn near guys. close to 10. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No shit in my oh, game. Yeah. <laughs> back in my day. Let me tell you back in my day. I had a trophy for that. I'm really... I'm not lying to you. Four. Four. Oh, Four. my Four. God. That is bad. That might be beat. That's, yeah, that's definitely beat. Four is pretty crazy, bro. <sighs> Anyways. But how does it make you feel? Do you guys feel like the shit? No, like more like, okay, at the moment, I was like, damn. Like, you know, because I was like, damn, you know? No fun for me. (laughs) (laughs) Sorry, I'm sorry. (laughs) Well, basically, I mean, yeah, basically that, right? Okay, but on God, though, that should actually make you guys feel like the shit. I feel like it has, in the past, it has made me feel like the shit, but it also... I kind of like laughed and I was like, I'm taking this as a sign that this wasn't really supposed to go well. Yeah. And then I I was just like, well, when I laughed, he was like, are you laughing at me? And I was like, no, I'm not. I told all my friends. Like, Damn, no, see, I I see. Okay, so look, so look, there's this thing with guys, right? Like, <laughs> like your first performance is like- He's traumatized, like, he has like, traumatic like, experiences. So like your first performance, it, it's a lot. You need, to, you need to show up that time. Cause then, that, then you get, that's the time you get the call back, you know what I mean? Wait, the, the first, first time, the first time you lose it or the first time with a specific person? Just a new person. Got it, got it, got it. So he's right. I don't think it so much has to do with your performance. I think, like, in Madu's case, if that guy finished in, like, four, I would expect him to at least do something for me to make sure that I finish. Yeah. Does that make sense? That, that, that would put him at, like, an, at 100. Because, like, then we both finished. We both achieved what we wanted to. And, like, we both had fun out of it. But I think it's bad if the guy just finishes and then he's like, all right, yeah. good night. Guys, please take notes. Like, it's really not that hard. You could just, like, use your fingers or something yeah. like that. Why are you <laughs> geeking over there? <laughs> you. <laughs> You're like, really? No, I'm serious. I like, this is very important. When that yeah. happened to me, I was like, okay. Like, what are we supposed to fucking do now? You no, know? yeah, before, before I would just be like, all right, well, there's the door. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, would just be, I would just be like, ah. <laughs> you two never go even. Yeah, <laughs> it's bedtime. That was like a <sighs> long time. That was like Nick. You're like, all right, can you spoon me now? Yeah, can you spoon me now? Oh, bro, she'd probably be so pissed. I I never thought about you're that. Like, though. what do you want to get to eat? Yeah, <laughs> yeah it is very. Like, I need to replenish. <laughs> I need to get my energy back. And guys, if you're like, ew, I don't want to do that, then you should not be having sex. Please mature a little yeah. bit first yourself before yeah. you get into that. Yeah. yeah, it's really not just all about you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Dude, that's fucking funny to think. No, because definitely before when I was like younger, that was like when I actually got. <laughs> when you actually got bitches? When I was actually Mr. Bitches instead of Mr. No Bitches. <laughs> no, but uh, yeah, I mean, hey, like back then, you're not really thinking though. Like you're a young guy. Like it's more just like, what's up? What are you doing? That's yeah. it. And nothing more. Yeah. You're not, yeah, you're definitely not thinking about the other person no. at all. That's definitely how I used to. But yeah, like. It's just funny that you bring that up because, yeah, if I literally went in and I was, like, completely, like, 100% focused, I would be done so fast. It's even hard to look sometimes. That's crazy. <laughs> Why do you think I have Kim Jong-un? Why do you think I have Kim Jong-un in my room as a poster? 
<laughs> he helps me out. He helps me out. Yeah, it makes my mind distracted. <laughs> but yeah. Live, laugh, love. <laughs> Christina, it sounded like you had something to say before. Oh, I was going to say, do you guys answer if you think watching porn is cheating? I'm saying no. Not cheating. Might be. I, I can see where girls are saying that that's disrespectful. Mm -hmm. I can see that end, but not cheating. No. Yeah, I'm going to say no, but yeah. Yeah. I'm going to say no too. Not cheating, but disrespectful. Yes. Yeah. What would you do if you... If you when on your, your girl's phone and you saw porn. I would be laughing. Yeah, I don't think I would care. <laughs> no, I wouldn't care. I but what if you laugh. saw like something that wasn't even close to you? Like like <laughs> <laughs> like BBC or something. We're not, you know what I mean? Like a different okay. race or something. Okay, okay. If it was like if it was like so if she if I saw if I saw in her category OG Mudbone or like <laughs> that is crazy. I'd dab her up. That, that's, or that's, like or like she was looking up like it was just like giant schlong or something like that and like not even your race like, I would say okay, that at that point i wouldn't even laugh i would just be like all right intervention what is this <laughs> you know like what am i what am i missing here <laughs> she's like what well, she's like a lot <laughs> <laughs> can i, I say cry. something though for the girls i feel like a lot of girls can agree with me on this but like <laughs> when i watch porn though like it's like i'd be looking at the girl too a lot not just the guy she's just like me for real <laughs> she said wait what is it she said i'm a lesbian girl me, me too, too. <laughs> but a lot of girls have said that and it's like i don't know it's just, i can see it do you know what yeah. i do you know i do it as for me watching porn is like watching people have sex yeah i guess i'm also <laughs> I, I guess i'm also a voyeur but like no, no no like what gets me off is watching people have sex it i'm not looking at the guy and i'm not like really looking at the girl in particular it's like the action of it happening mm, okay yeah i never heard that before that's how i watch porn at least now i do actually yeah i do too but sometimes it's just like I don't know. So you guys, oh, sometimes yeah. I just get curious and like Google shit. Like the most invasive thought in my head, I'll be like, "Let me look this up on Pornhub." That makes sense. <laughs> okay. Yeah. You know. Yeah. yeah. I've never done that, but. How would you? Feel <laughs> <if you're just> <laughs> <laughs> how would How would you feel if you found out that your girl was searching up a category that didn't even relate to you? I don't know. Like I, I would be thrown off. I would just be like, <laughs> "What the fuck is this?" <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Like it would just make me really? feel like off. Oh. Like yeah, if it was nothing close to me, like not even my race, bro. What if it looked like your? What? <laughs> you you guys be searching up by race? No, not all the time. Sometimes though. Whatever, whatever mood I'm in. I'm whatever curious, mood what I'm are in. you guys' races? <laughs> then how come girls can't be in the mood for different moods? No, but I'm saying when you guys are together. I'm saying when yeah, when you're dating somebody. That's what I'm talking about. Like if I mm -hmm. like if we were if I was dating a girl, like and I think it'd be the same way. Like if I was dating a girl and then I she was like I saw like porn on her like stuff and then it was like a category that didn't relate to me at all like and and not even like around like the whatever it's like you can watch like it doesn't it doesn't have to be like super tall handsome mexican guy like it doesn't what have if to she's be watching, that you like know? hentai i don't think oh, i care that yeah, I, would relate care. To you. I would not care but, but like, like og mudbone if it was og mudbone though i'd be freaking out but you are allowed to watch porns with any other type of woman in it N i'm not saying that but also you know what in a relationship i'm not i'm not watching porn yeah, I'm my like, porn watching I'm has just significantly like, like, decreased. It's probably just us. Like. Period. That's what I'm saying. That's why it's a little disrespectful because it's like there's guys that like when, when they have a, a person they're fucking, like they don't really need porn. So it's like, why yeah. the fuck are you? That's what I'm saying. I can see the disrespectful part. Yeah. I yeah. just didn't agree on the cheating part. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I did see the disrespecting part. Also, guys, I, I heard like porn is really bad for you. Like watching it a lot. And no, shit. it fucks you up. It fucks you up. It, it fucked me up. Yeah, it fucks you up when you're younger and it fucks you up when you get older too. Cause I, when you're younger, you think it's a certain way, like you have to do it that way. And when you're older, I heard it's like harder for you to just like have it, like like to have like regular like sex. I heard it's harder because- You're so like warped yeah, by porn. Cause porn isn't real, like yeah. that's not real shit. Yeah, also I heard like ED is kind of correlated with like watching too much porn what really what's oh, ED? eating disorders no erectile oh. dysfunction i definitely for sure when i was younger i was really insecure about my body because i was like my body doesn't look like the girls I but that. i was fucking oh. like 14 years old yeah, yeah. i could see that being i could see that being detrimental to, to like yeah. women so like for that sure. was really bad for me yeah. for a while yeah i could see that being detrimental yeah. towards women you know what's also really nice girl on girls she just like me. For <laughs> <laughs> she just like me for real. Like sometimes that's more hot than watching a guy and a girl because like, for the most part, like, 
most porns aren't really accurate when it's a guy and a girl, right? Yeah. But like when it's a girl and girl, it they're seems more it. like they're enjoying it. That's what I'm saying. I, anyways, next question. <laughs> next question. We're talking about porn too much. Devin, yeah, a little Devin's too much. Been, like, Bro, I can't like, I don't want to intervene on this. No, you're good, you're good, you're good, you're good. Okay, when showering, do you face the shower or away from the shower? This is a question by Molly Hidalgo. So the water's coming on the so you oh, face right it. Right on my face. <laughs> Why would you do that? I heard you all know, men do that. You know that girls, yeah, I heard that girls don't face the shower. No, you no. don't face the shower at all? Uh-uh. No. <laughs> Even when I'm like. Even like, what? I only turn to, wa- <laughs> I only turn to wash my face. That's kind of yeah. weird. Yeah. Doesn't your Same body, doesn't me. the front of your body get cold? No, the water's running down my hair, down my shoulders. Yeah. And I guess the our time, hair is long, time. so it like drips down this The way. times I haven't been facing the shower, like the water says hurt my back. You take hot showers though, no? I take hot ass showers. No, 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 I take scalding hot showers. <laughs> like that shit is probably so it's bad Like second degree burn type shit? Yeah, Yeah, that's and bad. you have fucking... I be getting out of there you with like heat rashes. Yeah, you should not be that's fucked. I fucking love hot yeah, showers. Yeah, you shouldn't do that. It dehydrates your skin. That's why I drink a cup before I hop in. Did not know that. And then I get in there. He tell you. <laughs> <laughs> actually, though, no. Actually, when I had long hair, I was facing away, though. I think it has to do with hair. The hair length? Yeah, I was facing yeah, away. Yeah, because it's like, it's dragging all the way with your hair. Like Watching guys shower oh. is insane. Y'all use the same shampoo and the... No, no, no. Like, the way that My they... Three that The three-in-one, the shampoo <laughs> comes down to the face, yeah. goes down to the pits, goes yeah. to the balls. Say, That's it. Uh, for my fellas, do y'all go from the hair straight to the body wash? Or do you, like... No, I matured. I used to. <laughs> you, you used to what? I used, I actually used shampoo and body wash. I did too. Yeah. yeah. But before that, <laughs> everything worked for me. Sometimes, Sometimes there was just a face wash. I was like, oh, fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> I never put, I never put body, body soap though in my hair. I've done that. No, that's, that's wild. I mean, I, I'm clean. Damn. I, that's wild. I'll put shampoo to all my body. I still do that if I'm out of if I run out of soap. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'll, I'll shampoo it to like the arms, but then after I'll hit it with the body wash. You yeah. know what I mean? But like I will I will never like just go hair shampoo. Every time you're going to you're putting shampoo on your shoulders? Yeah, it makes you feel all clean, but then I still go after it with a body wash with like a like a with the little loofah? Yeah, or like a or like a rag. washcloth. Yeah. The washcloth. Stuff, Wait, what's know? wrong with the way guys shower? Why is a three in one so bad? The, and you guys are so it's so lucky to sh- you shower so fast. I take a pretty long time. Like in the me, shower. my hair. Are you kidding me? My hair. Sometimes, if I sleep with it wet, it isn't even dry in the morning. Yeah. It's crazy. So it's like just extra hair. And then I do conditioner. And then while my conditioner setting, I do my body wash. And then I rinse everything. Oh, you supposed to let it sit. Yeah, you're supposed to. I never knew that. Oh really? I thought you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, ooh, my hair's all soaky now. Yeah. <laughs> it's like it's still in the air. It's a <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh. That's how hey, hey, on God. Yeah. I don't I get you're not supposed to wash your face like this, but I fucking love washing my face like it this. It feels like so good, dude. The shit yes. Out of like it? I'll yeah. put soap on and I just go <laughs> and then I like wash it all off. It feels fucking amazing. Same thing with I same thing with my like lotion on my face. I just go like all like crazy. I'm probably gonna have mad allergies right now. Yeah, that's why I, I'm trying not to touch my face right now. You know what everyone should here should do? Huh? Everybody here should go get a facial. That shit's fucking therapeutic. Also, you should go to this Who? girl I know. Uh-huh. Who? Get a facial. Asked. You know what? <laughs> <laughs> we were talking about skincare and all that. So Wait, can I use the bathroom? Yeah, go use the restroom. Are we at a good break? Yeah, we can get a break right now. We're on an hour 15. We're on an hour 15 right now, so we'll be chilling. Oh. oh, let me get a food break. My ears hurt. I like these questions. They're very like easy going. Yeah. For some reason, we were talking about so much about sex though today. Boom, boom, ba ba 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 boom, boom. When the night is up and the land is gone. What? The fuck are you eating? Oh my god. <laughs> Huh. Madi, you're gonna start. You're gonna go like this. Ba ba mm-hmm. boom. Mm-hmm. Listen, baby. Ain't, Ain't no mountain high. high. Ain't, Ain't no valley low. Ain't, Ain't no river, river wide enough, baby. If you need me, call me. No matter where you are, no matter how far. Uh uh, baby, <laughs> just call my name. I'll, I'll be, be there, there in a hurry. hurry. You won't have to worry. Cause, baby, there. Ain't no mountain high enough. Ain't no valley low enough. Ain't no river wide enough 
to keep me from getting to you. Remember the days I set you free. I told you you can always count on me, darling. From that day on, I made a vow. I'll be there with. I'll be there some way, somehow. somehow. Cause maybe that ain't no mountain high enough. Boom, boom, boom. Ain't no valley low enough. Ain't no river wide enough to keep me from hey, getting to you. I'm not gonna lie. How good was that? Cause that sounded amazing in my headphones. That was actually kind of good. <laughs> really? Were we hitting it? Yeah. Who was better? Devin. <laughs> All right. What song's next? What song's next? Yeah. I want you to sing Titanium. That shit's hard. I can't. I got the anymore. chorus. Oh, wait. I got the start. Cause you, you shoot me down. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, hey, Christine, did you hear us singing right now? Mm -hmm. Are you going to get copyrighted? Huh? Are you going to get copyrighted? No, not for us singing. Unless, I hope we get copyrighted because that means that, that we're really good. That means it was that good. Yeah. yeah. Who, who sounded better, Christine? You both sound the same. Okay. <laughs> I'll take it. I wasn't really liking it. I'm bulletproof. Okay, Christine, next question. Okay, next question. What do you do to recover from a breakup? Like, what is your self-care that you do? Like, breakup, heartache, like, situationship gone awry. Like, what do you do for yourself? Let's go first. Delete everything. I mean, like, social media. Take a break from that shit. That's a good one. Drugs. And then I would say hit the gym, pump some. What did you just say? <laughs> <laughs> pump some iron. Um, you know, build some self esteem, some self confidence. Yeah. Go out with some friends. You know, make some money. Yeah. You do you. Yeah. Be independent. You know. Um, yeah. What about for people that are struggling to even get to that point? Mm. Yeah, I was going to say, I kind of just go through it. Okay, my advice is, I don't be taking this advice, though. I'm not going to lie. But, <laughs> like, recently. <laughs> Did you hear that? <laughs> what? what was that? I didn't even know. <laughs> I didn't want to say anything. Hear what? You just did the craziest fucking laugh I've ever heard in my entire life. <laughs> I'm sorry, Molly. I'm sorry. Go, 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 go. No, no, no. Keep going. Keep going. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I wasn't going to say anything. That's on them. I wasn't going to laugh. I was holding in my laugh. I was going to say anything. Yeah, that was on Devin. I was holding in my laugh until they started laughing. Go. Okay. Okay. Don't laugh. If you guys laugh, you guys are my real oh, friends. Devin's crying. Hand me the smiling salts. Devin's there, crying. There, there, there. <laughs> That was, that was funny. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fucking sweating right now. Sorry. I'm so sorry about Why it. Go? Like, ignore him, ignore him, ignore him. Fucking, what was I saying? Yeah, I don't be taking my own advice, but. <laughs> <laughs> Devin, what the fuck, bro? Oh, Devin! Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> You you oh. did kind of sound a little it's a little weird. I'm not gonna lie, it <laughs> got a little scary, <laughs> like almost traumatizing. So sorry. Okay. Oh, <laughs> put a, put the mask on. Fuck you. <laughs> sorry, 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 sorry. You know what? I don't want to talk anymore. <laughs> no, 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 I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm kidding. Fucking okay. um. I'm gonna close. I'm gonna, I'm gonna look this way. I'm not gonna look at them. Go. Um. <laughs> you guys, I don't be taking my own advice. Is what I'm trying to say, but like. <sighs> The best thing to do. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, bro. I hate you guys so much. You made me laugh. You know what? No, Even know. Christine's no, laughing. No. <laughs> it's just gonna, it, I don't know. You're taking a long time to build up right now. It's just, it, it's just, you're taking a lot longer than you should be. Just go into it. Just say it. Just say it. Just say it. Just say it. Okay. Just say it. Just say it. Just say okay. It. Fucking, I was going to say. If you say, if you say again, if you say again, I don't be taking my own advice. I'm going to actually start losing it too. <laughs> My head hurts. Wait, I'm so oh bad. my god. Uh, Man, just fucking say it. Oh no. My head hurts so bad. <laughs> oh my god. Just fucking say it, dude. Oh uh, my god. My my, my chest hurts. Yours are making me cry. Okay, oh I'll try god. to say it right away. Thank you. <laughs> oh my god. Bro, just fucking say it. Okay. So what you gotta do is first you gotta fucking just feel that shit. Just let it <laughs> Just just feel it. All the way. And it's okay. <laughs> it's good. It's, it's good. all good. Yeah. Like if you wanna cry, you cry. I wanna cry right now. <laughs> 
Just cry it all out. <laughs> you know? Facts. <laughs> Guys. Facts. I feel not no. taken seriously right now. Uh, no, I'm good now. 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 I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm good. I'm good now. My apologies, Marty. Yes. That. Thank you. Oh, you got it. But also, I was going to say. This shit's loud as fuck. <laughs> Actually, I think that's it. Just like, you gotta feel it. Yeah. Yeah. You yeah. do. Please, guys, no contact. That's the number one thing. No contact always works. And yeah, it's fucking hard, but you just gotta go through it. Yeah, easier easier said than done for easier sure. Said than done. Yeah. And then, but I'm gonna tell you, if you do the no contact thingy, they're always gonna come back. They're always gonna come back. But by the time they come back, you're probably gonna be moved on already. So, yes. Pregunta. Does, um, moving on, not moving on, but like, do for you like when you get out of a relationship or anything like that do girls like distract you like other girls and same with girls do guys like talking to other guys does it distract you or does it help at all no like help take your mind off of things it feels like it does help your take your mind off of things in the moment yeah i think especially after a breakup at least for me i felt really not confident in myself I would say. And like, I, the, whenever I jumped right back into dating apps, I was like seeking some kind of validation from these men to make me feel better. But that wasn't like the right way to go about that. And I didn't even realize that until like my most recent breakup. Cause after that, I was like, okay, I'm fully gonna commit no contact, no dating apps. And like, I even took like a sex break. Cause I was like, I just need to focus on like me right now and like what is happening. Yeah. yeah. Cause it's kind of, it's kind of like just get, like getting your mind off of things like right now but it's not gonna help in the future right yeah what exactly. about you um yeah like my most recent breakup it was hard on me low-key i like i bought like a last minute rave ticket took hella drugs all that shit <laughs> <laughs> um and in the moment like yeah i felt fucking free and i was like it felt good i guess in the moment, in the moment yeah but then later it hits you harder yeah. it hits you way harder and you're like fuck you know yeah yeah so don't put yourself in a situation where you're gonna be like fuck i shouldn't have done that like yeah you that's always gonna come back to you what, what kind of can you give me an example like of with that? me like it's really easy to like not con what is the word condulge is that is that the right word indulge? Indulge. is that was it was it? indulge no indulge condone no engage engage i'm sorry i'm sorry engage. fuck engage and like I'm start using like condulge <laughs> I'm, gonna start, I'm gonna start using that sounds like word. a cool word sounds like a, sounds yeah, like a word, yeah, sounds like a word. <laughs> but like engaging like like anything like sexual or like mm -hmm. even like the slightest kinds of things like i'm just my drive isn't there if i'm not like fucking with you or like yeah. or like if my feelings are still with somebody else it's really easy for me to not do anything anymore yeah. and like not follow through yeah, yeah. <laughs> agreed me and sage actually talked about this recently yeah. um that's what i realized too it's just like um it's just better for yourself yeah. in the long run it, bu it builds a good habit yeah i don't know i just think that after a breakup you just really need to like if you're going through it at least just like find yourself before you step out of your comfort zone again mm -hmm. you know what i mean like take your time with it so i was actually talking to madu about this on the way to uh when we were on the way to wherever we were going this past weekend um i heard something that some guy i heard somewhere say that like if you really liked somebody so like let's say it's a let's say it's a, a a girl for example right if a girl really likes a guy and they break up she's gonna be in the mentality of I hate all men and if a girl really didn't like a guy that much she's gonna be in the mentality of like all right I'm gonna go to the club and like blah 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 blah, blah and like get with like all these guys mm -hmm. what do you guys think about that do you guys think that's true or do you think it's like maturity versus immaturity like mature people would just be like I hate all men or in, in, and immaturity is like I want to go to the club I think that's that's a hard question because you can still be immature while going to the clubs. Yeah. yeah. Like, I think... <sighs> like your intent behind it? Yeah, it's like your intent. I think a lot of times girls don't break up with a... I'm sure you've heard this. They don't break up with a guy until they've kind of like emotionally detached themselves from him already. Yeah. Like, so by the time... I think for some people, at least for me in the past, I've when I've broken up with a guy like literally less than two weeks later, I was over him. Because by the time that things had ended between us, we had been fighting for months. I was like checked out. I was like still trying to do my best to be a good girlfriend, right? But I wasn't, in my head, I was already thinking this isn't gonna go anywhere. So I, I did my best to not 
ever make things any worse, but like I waited a while because I kept thinking, I guess, too, like it'll get better. Another question. Everyone here, who's like, how many people have like broken up with you guys and how many people have you like broken up with? Like you're talking about ratio or you're talking about yeah. what, what's yeah, like been more like, yeah, what is it more of? What if you were on and off? So the very end one then? Yeah, let's just okay. say the very, the very end one. The thing that like killed everything. I definitely broke up with them more than more? I've been broken up with. But you've been broken up with before? Yeah. Okay. All the relationships I've been in with, I've broken up with them. Only because I got hurt, except one of them. I think I've definitely been broken up with more. Or not even broke, because I don't, I, not, like, because I haven't been in, a, like, relationships. Like, they just... Oh, like, just end it. Like, who usually was ending it? Who's ending it? Yeah. Probably them. Them? Okay. Yeah. I think it was more from the stem of, like, <laughs> me being, like, knowing what I want and, like, being already there. I feel like it kind of sk- intimidates people. Whoa. Wait, what? Like, if I am like more mature than you in a sense of like relationship wise and like I know what to do I know like like what could actually work out the situation it's kind of hard when it's like that too because like you don't want to be like a know-it-all kind of person either like you don't want to come off like that and like I feel like it kind of seems like that sometimes even when I'm trying to just like explain explain like what we could do and like Cause like, dude, I'm 21. Like, obviously, I don't know everything, but I do know some things. Like, I, I, I'm getting guided by like my mother and like yeah. p- other people that give me more like insights on everything. So like, mm-hmm. I don't know. I feel like that intimidates a lot of people though. Like, they just feel like, oh shit. Like, well, I don't know. Like, almost like not belittle. I don't know. Does that make sense though? Yeah. Well, to so your first question before that one, I wanted to like the one Christine answered. I want to say I think, for me, it is like more about how much you like the person because i realized like if i really like the person even after the breakup i really do not like men do not interest me like for instance like the last breakup i had and i bought that rave ticket whatever and had fun whatever men like literally like disgusted me like yeah i was having fun with them but it's just like i was just like i didn't see them as like i just saw them as like damn you like disgust me but like Damn. yeah no like really like i really it was just i was still having fun but it's like i d- i kind of saw them as like you disgust me basically like i don't i don't, I don't want anything to do with you because one guy at that same rave like he approached me and he was like really good looking but instead of approaching me in a way where like oh like let's just dance or whatever he wanted like my number mm. yeah because and then be- obviously because he wants to do something later mm-hmm. you Got know you. like and then oh he- and you're just like what the fuck yes and i was Got like you. And I was so like, nah, like I don't even want to do that. I didn't end up giving him my number. And then like he ended up texting me to go on a date, but I just was not interested like in any of that shit, like dating, anything like that, like going on dates, none of that shit. It was just like, I was so over it, you know? And I realized, damn, I really like this man because like I didn't find myself wanting to fuck anybody else or or do shit like that at all. I low-key think it's likewise with like with guys too. I feel like, I don't know. I've been seeing that recently at a lo- like a lot of our group, mm-hmm. uh, people who like ended things or like not in a relationship anymore. Like it took them a while to move on. Like they wouldn't do anything. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. So I think there's similarities with guys as well. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna see that. I think it, I think it comes down just to how much you like them. Mm-hmm. Because like if you, I, I think that's how it works. I feel like if you genuinely did like somebody a lot. You would still have that guilt. I think you're going to be like, yeah, you're going to be so slumped. Like, you're not going to be wanting to talk to anybody, you know? So that's why I was asking, like, what you guys think about it. So maybe it's not an immaturity thing. It's just more so, like, how much you liked the person. What do you think, though? Like, did you have a personal experience like that? No, nothing more like... Like, the first girl that I ever, like, really liked, like, back in, like, junior college. Like, I was slumped over her for sure. But I I definitely wasn't like, oh, yeah, like... Like dudes, like let's go to the party. Like you know, let me let me get with all these girls, blah blah. Like I wasn't like that, but like for me, like to get my mind off of her though, was more so I just like to bury my stuff, like myself in stuff. So I'll just like bury my. That's that's like how the YouTube channel started too. Like I kind of just buried myself in it to like get my mind off of that. You know, I feel like for me, it's just like burying myself in something. You know, and that could be like working out. So yeah. keep, cool. keeping yourself I'm occupied. Yeah, just keep my and then and then eventually though, I believe in that. I believe in that. I believe that if you like, 
immerse yourself in something eventually just unknowingly you're just gonna stop thinking about them i think it's also a good way too yeah, that's, that's, I, that, helps yeah, I, that I goes back that. to like the original question that i wanted to get back to which is like what like are some self-care things that you do yeah I, w- I would definitely say like try and find things that interest you where like your mind like i said is just like completely off of that person and then yeah i, I think like it's the whole thing like you just kind of like tricking your mind mo- tricking your mind and eventually one day you're gonna wake up and you're gonna not think about them that's my number two no doubt yeah. just What's going out one? just going through it okay. yeah just realizing what i'm feeling i would say do any kind of like exercise exercise goes a long way yeah for it sure. does like even if it's just like a walk like for like 10 minutes outside the sun will do you so much yeah. good yeah. like the sun and fresh air will help and like i think if you do that at least for like 10 minutes every day like that'll help you know what fucking scares me is people that like wake up, stay in bed, go on their phone, and like are just in bed like all day. That is that is so like and or like and eat maybe and just snack. Yeah. Not gonna lie, I do that. That is so scary to me. Well, I mean, a lot of it is like my depressive episodes. Okay. Like sometimes I just don't have like drive to do I anything. I can't get out of bed. Yeah. But e- like even if you're like, do you know though that like getting out of bed is gonna make you feel better though? Yeah. I I still can't. It's like, like I won't even brush my teeth that day. The only time I'll get up is to uh, go to the bathroom. If if it's like if it has to do to like like episodes like that, okay, fine. But I do know some people that literally are just like in bed all day, and it might be due to it might be. I think the most mostly it is probably due to like depression and stuff but like that. I know people like that too. Yeah, but yeah. it's just like it's like bro, if you literally just get up and just go outside, go go like walk. You know, mm-hmm. you're going to feel like so much better. Mm-hmm. Eat something too, you know? Yeah. D- drink water. Drink water. <laughs> Drinking water is like the one thing that has helped me out so much. Like I drink a shit ton of water. Yeah. Hell yeah. You're going to be crying a lot too. So you got to <laughs> rehydrate. You got to re-up. <laughs> we gotta re-up. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I noticed like after breakups, like I can't be doing that shit. I can't stay at home. I need to either see my friends, yeah. go do something, yeah. go outside, something. Because you start thinking about it more. Yeah. Uh, going off of Maru said, I feel like <clears throat> before I used to just like sit there and drown in my sorrows. But um, once you realize that like doing something does help you, it's so hard to break that habit. Yeah. As in like yeah. for me, it was physical activity. Yeah. I didn't realize before I started working out, I just thought it was like a physical thing. Yeah. But as I went on, yeah. dude, the mental like, stability it gives you just knowing you got up and did yes, something. Yes, dude. Yes. Wild. Yes. I won't make my bed, so but I'll go to the fucking gym. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. <laughs> I fucking hate making my bed. I make it right before I go to bed. And I don't even make it right. I just throw the blankets on. Are you make it before you go to bed? Yeah. Just to, like even out Just to, like blankets? even out the blankets and then I just jump in. Oh. I don't like completely make the bed. I never make my bed. Yeah. I recently started doing it. Nah, fuck, fuck making your bed. I hate making my bed. Same. What is the point? You're gonna sleep in it anyway. Exactly. What's the point? Okay. Hey, what's the point of showering? You know, you're gonna get dirty again, right? Oh my Facts, bro. <laughs> <laughs> my mom used to always tell me that whenever Facts. I was like, I was like, why don't you clean my room? Or like, why don't you make my bed? I'm like, I'm just gonna sleep again. And I'm just gonna get it dirty. Why do you take a shower? You're just gonna get dirty again, right? I mean, that's a great argument. But then at the same time, though, I have an argument against that. It's myself getting dirty. I don't like being dirty, but like my my bed, if it's like all over the place, it's not it getting dirty. It is getting dirty. <laughs> no, Wait, I don't think it works like that, buddy. But it's not, though. Because, <laughs> like, if your bed, it's just about it being looking neat. Yeah. You showering is about feeling clean and for your health. But then, like... But I feel like the bed gets dirty with stuff on it, no? Huh? What if it's, like, your clothes and stuff on it? Yeah, it was, like, your dirty no. clothes you throw on your bed. Oh, no, I'm not talking about clothes. I was just talking about, like, doing your bed, like, making it, like, oh, neat again. Okay, 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 okay. Do you sleep on your... Do you get on your bed with uh, outside clothes? Absolutely not. That is so fucking no. crazy. No, I, I cringe. I don't do that. You don't do that. Say, I, don't, I cringe. I, I don't I even. I don't even like. I don't even like getting on top of my bed with outside clothes on. I also don't like socks in my bed. That's like a weird rule I have. I have like specific bed socks. It's some weird. Oh, socks, socks on your bed. Socks. Oh, like, they said bed wow. sex. Oh, wait. What did you say? I said <laughs> socks on the bed. I said no socks on oh, my I bed. Oh, I thought you said sex in the bed. I was like, no sex in your bed. I was <laughs> like, socks on the bed feel weird. Like, I like my shit. My, Cause like, your sock is like, everyone's like, your socks are clean. They're no, in your no, shoes no, all day. No, they're they're not. in your shoes yeah. all day. You ever watch that SpongeBob episode? Where like, he's like, never mind. David Jones Locker? No, never mind. Yeah, so I, that's like a weird thing I have. 
I'll take my socks off. Like, I can't sleep on my bed without my socks on. But, like, the only thing that comes off if, like, I'm tired as fuck is my shirt. I'll jump on, I'll jump on my bed, though, with my pants on. Like, my outside pants. I cringe when people do that. It's like, when they sit on my bed. With their Dude, clothes. you, like, gave me the biggest death stare when we came over. And I sat on your bed. And you're like, those are outside clothes. Those are outside clothes. Get off my bed. And I was like, holy shit. Yeah. I get like that, too. Just seven days, seven days. How many more questions do we have, Christine? Um, I can do, like, one more. Yeah, okay. sure. Or I have we two. At? Uh, we're at 140 right now. Oh. Okay, oh, okay I'll start with the one that I like more. Um, so this one is from At Above Shore. They ask, is love an emotion or a choice? I thought this was a great question. Holy jeez. Choice? Is love an emotion or like a choice? Like something that you have to choose to do? Like choose, to, like choose to love somebody or like... Mm. Mm -hmm. I think you can go both ways. Because... Um, Obviously, if you feel the emotion, you you love them. You know what I mean. Give me an example of choose to love something. Okay, so choose. I was gonna say is like you love somebody, but you know they're not they're not good for you, and you choose not to be with them because of that. You ever heard of relationships that end like that? Yeah. It's like you love them, but like maybe you're stuck and you're not growing with them. Or it's more of like oh, so that, but that's you choosing to unlove them. Yeah, no, love them. that's why choosing so, love. Oh, um, okay, 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 okay. It it could also be like let's say like. Obviously, everybody goes through their honeymoon phase, and that's when, like, you feel that passion. But they're talking about, like, once that passion is gone, are you going to choose to be with them still? That's like, oh, true. that makes do sense, that, too. Do, like, those, I think it's, like, do those intentional things that you started when you just started dating her. Because I think that's, like, a choice to love somebody. Because you don't have to do. Yeah. There's a lot of relationships where, even on both ends, like, the guy and the girl stop doing these like little cute like romantic things yeah. to like keep the relationship alive so i think that is like a choice that you have to make to does that make sense no, yes, yes to constantly do yes exactly yeah i think I, i'm on i'm on devin's wavelength of i think it does go both ways yeah because like me too do you guys think that you could like see somebody like go on dates with somebody that's like really really good for you like healthy great communicator blah blah, blah. um and you not immediately love them and they love you and then you eventually like love them because you know they're good for you? Do you think you could do that? Does that make sense? That makes uh, that wouldn't a be like lot true, of sense. That wouldn't be like true love for me though. Yeah. Okay. Because you're like, but that is that because like you're forcing yourself like to love them? Like you're sticking around to see if you're going to fall in love Yeah. Be just because like they're just good for you and like... For me, like true love is like either love at first sight or... You eventually develop or the feelings? Like you not not because you know they're good for you but you know like you want them in your life like okay like you have to have that feeling you, that you just yeah it's just that like feeling, they, they have to be in my life like i can't i can't like not see them i can't not be it's with them. just a feeling i think like for me i view it as like this person shares the passions that i have or if he doesn't share the passions he still is supportive of me and wants to support me in my passions got you mm -hmm. Yes, that's a good one. Yeah. But on top of that, for me, like, love is also, like, yes, them being good for you and stuff. But the most important thing for me, we were talking about this age, mm -hmm. actually. I feel like love also consists of, like, chemistry and attraction. Yeah. If that's yeah, not there, I then, think, like, I think so. you know? Yeah, so, like, I mean, when Nick said that, I was like, no, that wouldn't be love because it's more like, oh, they're just good for me. Yeah. Like, like don't like, settle you yeah. should never settle I for something i think that's settling yeah. because you need to have that initial attraction that physical attraction and that chemistry you know so when you yeah. say when you settle do you consider that choosing to love i don't think so mm. i think that's different from choosing i think that's to choosing love. not to love Choose. does that make sense Wait, i i, I kind of got what you said bro right if there. we were high that would make a lot of sense <laughs> 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 i don't know i i, I don't know it's just like forcing it. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. When you start, yeah, I guess yeah. that is. Yeah. You're right? choosing to like. Yeah. Not to love because you're like choosing something that you think is, is good for you, but like you don't actually love that person. So you're choosing, you're choosing being safe, feeling safer because you're in, in like healthier hands, I guess, yeah. but like your heart isn't there. So you're not choosing love. Yeah. I don't know. Oh, I don't shit. know. What, I don't know what you're saying, but like it's making it's, sense. It, it, <laughs> like <laughs> something's, <laughs> something's like going on where I'm like, like facts but I, right? there's something else going on like this isn't i think what working. Maddie's trying to say is when you settle 
this kind of goes into like the second question I had, which is what is one thing that you would settle for when it comes to a partner? But when you choose to settle on like, let's say this person is really good for you, but they're not exactly meeting your criteria of like, holy shit, this person is hot. Like, I want to fuck them because I feel like a part of that needs to be in a relationship. Mm -hmm. Like that's like the that's the chemistry part. Yeah. But I feel like and like, like when when yeah. when you're like not let's say like you're choosing to ignore that and still be in a relationship with this person because you think that they're good for you like you're denying yourself of the chance to be in love with like something that does fulfill those requirements gotcha. does that make sense something greater than just like feeling safe yeah. or in, yeah in, in a healthy be- yeah because when i the first relationship i had after my abusive one I kind of just settled. Like he was a really great guy. He made me feel super safe. Everything felt really good with him. But I was like, I don't really, I don't really like this guy that much. Yes, I've been in, in that situation. Yeah. I was before. like, this guy is perfect. Like he's amazing. He treats me so well. Like this is all I could ask for after going through what I did. But like, I felt so guilty. Cause I was like, yeah, I don't really like this guy. But what? Like, sexual attraction stuff like that i don't know there just wasn't something that like clicked between us something was missing like i don't know what how did you how long did you stay with him for 10 months he's the guy that cheated on me uh, like that's how much i thought this guy was good for me damn. okay yeah. christine one of my exes was kind of like that like i just kind of man yeah you know who i'm talking about i think but okay yeah, it was basically that. He did fuck me over, yeah, but, like, then he did show me, like, all of that shit, but I never had... There was always something missing, you know? Always something missing. And it's unexplainable. It was just something was missing. Like, I couldn't find... Get myself to, like, love him or, like... How long did you stay with him? Fat man, and just because he was, like... Nick, yeah. I think, <laughs> I think for me, like, <laughs> like what I, yeah. <laughs> when, okay, when I didn't like feel that thing, I don't think it had anything to do with him cheating on me, though. Like, I think if that didn't happen, I still wouldn't have felt those things for him. Mm. Does that make sense? Like, it was just that kind of awareness that, like, did there it was come just naturally? Something wrong. It was just yeah. natural. Feeling. It was just natural. That's what it feels like. There's something off. Like yeah. it's not right. I'm not supposed to be with this person type of thing. Yeah. I'm feeling that heavy. Like I couldn't be my full self around mm. him. Oh, not even that. Did you guys and feel? Like, oh, sorry. No, go ahead. Go ahead. Um, did you guys feel like bummed out when that feeling happened? Yeah. Uh, cause you were like, everything's perfect, but like, I just, I just, there's something that I, and I felt bad for him because yeah, I was like, I feel like I'm dragging. Sorry for interrupting. No, go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> no, sorry. You go. I felt, I felt like I was dragging him along, but also I was, it was such a fight in my head because I was like, no, you do like this guy. He is really good for yeah, you. You were like, trying. I was trying and I was like, you know, I'm going to make this work. Like I'm putting in the effort, yeah. but also at the same time, there was a part of me that was like you know you don't like him you know that Mm. this isn't gonna go anywhere like what are you doing i've definitely been in that i that's crazy i totally forgot but i've definitely been in that situation i was like what am i doing like i don't even like this person and i knew that i didn't like them i just like was given i don't even know why i did but they were like just so like nice to me and like like and they it was good for you it it was good it wasn't necessarily good for me but it wasn't like it wasn't wrong. it wasn't wrong either like it was just like a kind of like a cool thing but i never had the balls to just be like you know what i'm sorry but this isn't working like on my end like i can't tell you what it is you're a great person but i i wouldn't want to do that yeah, to I, you, have, like, I have a couple questions long. but i know you i know did you have something oh, no, she answered it okay thank you mm-hmm. i wanted to say something okay well i I but asked. it was regarding this though. I thought you were moving on. Yeah, whatever. Fuck me, go. No, no, wait. We're no, gonna move no, on no, from no. this conversation. No, no, it has to do with the question. Okay, but go, like, go, no, 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 you go, go, go. No. But it's because it go was ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Okay. Yeah. I was gonna say like, um, <laughs> Nick. I yeah, just keep going. I'm just keep going. I thought you were moving on. Okay. No, no, go, 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 go. You can say your part. No, no, go, go. Okay, okay. I was gonna say, fuck. I lost my shit now. I didn't lose my. Okay, for me, for me, it was just like. Fuck, what was I going to say? It was, like, really important, though. 
Okay, my it turn. Was, it was just kind of like it's because it was hard to explain to like why I had to. It's just like something was missing, but it's like I can't even explain what. Yeah. Did you it's feel hard. like? Sorry, Nick, but did you feel like you could be friends with this person, like if you had never, like, romantically started anything with Most them? Definitely. Like they would have been like a good homie. Yes, because everything clicked. Everything was. I felt comfortable with this man. Like he was doing good to me. Like. He was, like, doing really good, but it's just, like, that thing was missing. And it was just kind of, like, I wanted it to be him so bad because he was so good to me. So that mm. hope that I wanted him to be so bad, like, for me, that's what kept me going. But then it's, like, some things you really you really can't force. And that's one of the things. You can't force love. Okay. Yeah. I have two things, then we can wrap it up. Yeah. Yeah. First thing, um, since you guys said that uh, you've, like, been in situations like that where you've tried to make it work, do you guys think you would recognize it a lot sooner now like do you think do you think you would still try with somebody now um like you were seeing somebody and then i don't know if you remember that that day that that um that it came back remember how I, I was um i was only talking to her for like a week so it wasn't even like like oh, not even a week. it was probably like two yeah. three weeks yeah. but i found myself i was like it's not like hidden like something's yeah. not not there and i like I was I was figuring it out. I was like, oh, but they were such a good person. I was like, oh, maybe I'll go on a third date. Maybe I'll do this. But like, I was like, I don't really want to lie to anybody. Did you anymore. recognize it though? Yeah, I did. I definitely did. But I definitely had to have you guys like be like, you have to like, you know. I mean? Oh no, actually, I think I came. I came and I already had sent the text and I already had uh, showed oh, you. you yeah, I showed you, you guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, yeah. I was like, yeah, because I was like, man, I can't do this anymore. Like, yeah. again, and it wasn't really a thing where I had to call her over the phone because like we weren't even really like mm-hmm. explicit or anything like that. But. Yeah, I think that now I definitely realize it a lot sooner. I think, yes, I would realize it a lot sooner, but also this is why I date more than one person at a time because I think it takes a little bit of time to get to know people. And like for me, at least when I'm single, I cannot stick to one person i get too stuck on them like i fall for them too fast because then all my attention is on them so like that's why i divide it up because otherwise i'll go crazy (laughs) but like for that's why i do that because i think sometimes there's definitely like guys that i've dated the first couple dates have just been like oh this guy's really cool like we like the same music like he likes the things that i'm into he's a great guy he seems like a good guy And then after a while, even if he doesn't have like a lot of red flags, there's just something that doesn't happen. Mm -hmm. There's like no romance. Yeah. No, I get what you mean. I I guess that's the best way to put it. What about you? Um, You think you recognize it? Yeah, for sure. Like now I know what it is. It's like once I, it's like something isn't hitting. Okay. I wouldn't try to pursue it any longer. I'd be like, got you. Not for me. You said your time frame is like two, three weeks, right? Yeah. Do you, how 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 fast do you think it would take for you guys to recognize like mm, something something's not right here? A month. A month. Yeah. What do you think? Yeah, like four dates. So four a dates. Month, okay. Probably. Yeah. Okay. Because like usually by the third time we've had sex, and then that is like a big indicator mm-hmm. for me for like which way I'm leaning. Like if I'm already like eh about him on, and like he's not good at sex, it's like automatically. Got you. Okay, that makes sense. Um, other than that. You guys want to go ahead and wrap it up? Okay, thank the Lord. You have been breeding. I'm sorry. So much. And they're like snapping much. their gloves now. I know. It's and I was like, crazy. <laughs> I fucking you did, dude. Are you playing with your reason I've been, there? I've been doing this the whole time. Dude, yeah, <laughs> yeah. bro. I'll do like, the whole thing. We had this like serious this. combo, and I didn't want to interrupt once about like, say, telling you to back the fuck up, but. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit, bro. You guys are lucky it's that I can contain so myself. Hot. Um, But, anyways, guys. Wow. We're going to go ahead and wrap this podcast up. That was an hour and 53 minutes. Jesus Thank you for the great Christ. questions. Oh, yeah. the last question was from Kelly Vu, by the way. Kelly Vu. Thank you. Boo. Thank Boo. you, Kelly Vu. Kelly Vu. Um, but anyways, though, guys. Uh, yeah. Thank you for tuning in. Um, thank you, Christine, for coming up with the questions, and thank you for asking some of the questions, you guys. Um, but I'm your host, Nick Rahetta. I'm Maru. Devonte. Christine. Sage. And remember, guys, like, subscribe. Add us on Discord. Add me on Snapchat. Nick underscore get Uh, Follow the goons on their YouTube channel. Maria, you want to? I have a YouTube channel too. No. Yes. Yes, yes. yes ma'am. Uh, Madu's starting one. Uh, when do you think you're going to release it? Um, I already have released it. Can you put it you in? Just, 
In your description? No, no, like your first video. Why does yeah. hers oh, go in the description, video. but ours? <laughs> yours is in the description, <laughs> dumbass. I knew that. <laughs> first YouTube video. Not really sure. I'm filming a video with Nick tomorrow, though. So yeah, yeah. getting started. It's gonna yeah, be a fun one. Yeah, but anyways, guys. Um, yeah, we'll go ahead and catch you guys on the next segment of Suburb Talks. I'm about to completely inhale the rest of these fucking smelling salts because that shit kind of got me horny. Salud. <laughs> no, no. I saw that water come up too. Oh, there's no water in here. There's no water. But okay. Woo. Woo. Damn. Damn. That like felt long, but also didn't feel long.